Um, oh, excuse me. Okay, there it goes. For a second, I was like, is it not gonna go? Is it not gonna start? <laughs> How are you doing? I hope your day is going well. And for folks who do not know, we are playing Paper Mario and the Origami King today, which is an absolutely freaking beautiful game. And it's like, we're almost done with it, I think. We're on our last streamer uh, before we go and fight Ollie, the freaking king who has decided to take over the entire land. Uh, and there are some uh, trigger warnings slash content warnings. There are enemies that look like animals, all paper, like origami animals. Um, there's combat. Um, there are origami insects, bugs, snakes, and spiders. There are flame attacks, um, as well as shaking cameras and also flashing lights and flashing images. Um, and so please, please, please take care of yourself um, and make sure that you're looking after yourself if you're not comfortable with any of those. Oh, yeah, and doing well, just chilling with my dragon again. Oh, I measured him today to see how big he is full grown. He's 19, oh my God, 19 and a half inches long. Vincent's grown a lot, damn. <gasps> Do you see all the paper on the floor? They've torn up. <gasps> I fucking hate it here. Hold on, what was that arm? Oh! I fucking hate this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh! oh my god. Olivia! Olivia was freaking taken from us and we finally refound her. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Help me, I've been captured by something. I just, also, I love that Vincent's 19 and a half inches long. Like, that is freaking huge. Like, that is huge for a bearded dragon. Like, granted, I also don't know how large bearded dragons usually get. So maybe that's a normal size. But, like, that is huge. And that's super exciting, too. I hope that, I hope that he's doing well. It's like a shadowy, slithering hand. This is very unsettling. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be fucking wrapped up in that either, fam. Like, that is the worst. <laughs> I'm scared, Mario. Please help me. <laughs> they just, like, mushed her back. They were just like, no, nah, get fucking back in my- Get, get back in my body right now. <laughs> okay, fuck me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we doing? Okay. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna go around. We're gonna go down. I feel like fire is a good idea. Like, I feel like fire is a good idea. Because it's, it's paper, right? And so that's gonna be- that's gonna be why we do this. Try to attack from just the right distance. Not too far away, but not too close. Is two away okay? Oh, I can't use the circle without her! I fucked up, I forgot. I forgot that I can't even use that. Are you gonna slinky onto me? I do not want your hands around me like that. Uh-uh. Absolutely the fuck not. Okay, how the absolute shit. Um. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go down. What if? I don't even know, y'all. <laughs> what if we use uh, the hands right there? Let's use the hands right there. Hopefully. You little bitch ass. They flicked our thing. 16 to 24 inches are normal dragon sizes. It's not often they get bigger than 20. Oh my gosh, that's huge still. I hate it here. Oh my god, 24 damage? 24 damage, babe? <gasps> A dragon I follow on Instagram is 22 inches. That is amazing. Like that is absolutely freaking phenomenal to me. And I love that. Okay, good to know that they're gonna get freaking large then. And that's so exciting, because they're so fucking cute. They're so sweet. Okay, um... Let's try Let's try just a base hammer. Oh, I can't even use a base hammer attack. What about boots? Can I- can I jump? Oh! Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Um... So I think maybe we've got to be two spaces away and use our hammer. 
I hate it here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's try that. So we're gonna go down one. We're going to um, go this way. And we're gonna put this here. So we're two spaces away. You better not flick our freaking thing. I swear. Please, please, please tell me this is right. Please tell me. Please tell me we can actually hit them. We're only gonna use a regular hammer just in fucking case. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, loosened its grip. Whatever you just did, do some more. I fucking love that I just keep shoving Olivia down. It's like, get in my fucking spiral. Get in my body. I fucking, we're gonna die. God. I just, if this is this boss, I'm really stressed to see what our final boss is gonna be inside. Like, I'm really stressed to see what's gonna be our boss here in a second because like, this is not even the final one. You know, like this is our before the actual boss kind of fight, which feels bad. <laughs> which feels really bad, friends. Okay. Let's try... We're gonna do the flashy hammer. Because the, the, the quicker we can get Olivia out, the better. That way we can actually... Um, God, poor Olivia. That way we can actually use our firepower. Because the powers, the elemental powers do so much. Oh my fucking god. It keeps doing more and more damage every single time. Like it did five the first time, and then it did eight, and now it did what, like 12 or 13? stress. Just, just, just stress. Okay, so we're gonna put you here. We're gonna put you here. That looks good. That looks good. And we're gonna get Olivia out, use our fucking firepower, and it's gonna die. And it's gonna die. Easy peasy. Okay, hold on. We're gonna do this. I'm so stressed. Oh my god. Oh, I'm super, super excited. Before I forget to say this, I know I posted about it, but we... Oh, they're almost out. Oh god. We almost have all of our stuff for the Jinx cosplay. <gasps> we almost have all of our stuff for the Jinx from Arcane cosplay. And I am so remarkably excited. Like I just got pink contacts in today. Like my pink contacts came in today, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, Cause they are gorgeous. Like they are super, super fun. And um, like they look really, really good. Like they're very vibrant too, which is super, super exciting. Um, especially cause I've got like, like not super, super, like I don't have like black eyes, but I've got hazel eyes. And sometimes they're like a little darker than most hazel eyes. And so I'm really excited to see how like bright pink contacts are going to look in contrast with them. And I'm really, really hoping that the color comes out really, really well. Um, because I'm trying to replicate the, um, oh, Olivia, the, the Jinx from Arcane at the end, whenever she's on, um, like, at the end. I'm just going to say that because I don't want to spoilers. Um, but I'm really, really excited. I cannot heck and wait. I'm so sorry, Olivia, this poor sweet soul. But I'm really excited. Like, the wig came in, the outfit came in, um, the contacts came in. I'm just waiting on a prop. I'm just waiting on a prop and that's it. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly... Oh, fuck me! What hap... You little asshole. Scissors. Are we gonna play rock, paper, scissors with you, babe? Ugh! Could this really be that uh, legendary form of hand-to-hand -hand combat? Stony sheet cutting. What, is that not it? Rock, paper, scissors? Oh, that has a much better ring to it. I like stony paper... Whatever the fuck you said. Well, whatever it's called. It's time to make this hissy fist pay. Okay, but what the fuck are we doing? Like, are we are we doing rock, paper, or scissors? Like... What? Uh, which one am I supposed to do? We're gonna try rock. We're gonna try rock. Please tell me it's rock. While close gives you a higher attack power but makes it harder to guard. From farther away, your attack will be weaker, but it's easier to guard. Okay. Okay, please tell me this was the right one. I am st fucking stressed. We'll use your 1,000-fold arms to play rock, paper, scissors. Shake the controller on the last beat of rock, paper, scissors to form the move on this panel with your hands. Ready, let's go. Go on, scissors. 
Oh, please. Fuck. I am so stressed. This feels like half luck and I hate it. Oh my god. Did it just pulsate in front of us? It, it was like, mm, mm. oh, scissors. S motherfucker. Okay, so it's going to be rock this time. We got to do rock this time then. Fuck me for not realizing it was doing a fucking rock thing before. Oh my god, please tell me, please tell me. I'm so stressed. I follow another dragon who is a cookbook named Chef- Oh, a cookbook called Chef Lenny Cooking for Humans. The book is full of pictures of Lenny the dragon with miniature meals in a miniature kitchen. Glittering Moon Elf, that is the cutest goddamn thing in the entire universe. That would be so freaking cute. Like, I feel like that would be so freaking adorable. Smack, 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 smack! Ah! Sucks to suck! Come on! Oh my god, I hate it here. Whew. That would be so cute. Like, I- there, there's a, um, there's a TikTok account that I follow. There's a TikTok account that I follow. I'm sorry, my brain is, like, making sure that I match up the right things. Okay, I hope that's right. There's a, um, there's a TikTok account that I follow that has a cat making things. Like, same idea, except, like, it's a cute little cat making things. And it's the sweetest thing in the universe, and I freaking love to see it. And I'm always just like, I wish Tofu would let me do this with him. Like, I wish he would let me, like, move his, uh, like, move his arms. Oh my gosh, whoo! Like, move his arms to, like, actually physically, like, pick up things without, like, screaming at me every two seconds. Because I feel like that is just, like, the cutest thing. Like, I feel like, yeah, fuck you, you little armhole. Oh my god. And I feel like that'd be very cute. And I love seeing, like, little, like, animal doing things. Like, animals cooking things. Like, there's also a TikTok account where, um, where it's just, like, there's, like, food or, like, a sponge cake. And, like, it's, like, stop motion of, like, little pig figurines just like going around like going nom, 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 and like eating the cake and it's very cute and very adorable and like it makes me like have so much serotonin like every time I see a video like that I'm just like god damn it the serotonin I'm getting from this is fucking phenomenal <laughs> like I just love it so much it's just so freaking cute oh Mario that was uh awful I'm sorry Olivia Ooh! is that a hug Oh, oh, I was so scared. And you just rushed in to save me, like you've done so many times now. And all I could do was be as quiet as a mouse so you wouldn't let up with those mighty hammer swings. I love Olivia. Sorry about that. I guess I got a little carried away. I hope my tears didn't leave a little soggy spot on your overalls. Even if it did, Olivia, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. You're my BFFFF. You know what? I'm better now. I think I cried it all out. Let's go take care of the green streamer. I think we're almost ready to take on my brother. Let's do it for the confetti that used to be Bowser's minions. We'll make that confetti proud. Also, like, yeah, the fact that they literally shredded all of these freaking minions is so... <gasps> Come back! I'm gonna cry. Come back. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I don't like, oh, I, I care about Bowser Jr. too, but like, Kamek was our friend. Pour one out for Kamek. And I'm sure, like, the rest of them were great too, but like, Kamek! Kamek! I'm so fucking sad. Their Instagram name is who's a good lizard. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm copying and saving that into my, into my little, uh, into my little Tofi go, go do this shit kind of thing. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I am going to absolutely follow them after stream. <laughs> like that's just so fucking cute. Who's a good lizard. <gasps> I fucking love it. My heart, my soul. Goodness. I need to find more like cute animal. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a boss. I need to find more cute animal, um, like Instagrams and TikToks to follow because they just make me so happy. They're adorable and they bring so much heckin' serotonin, you know? There it is. The end of the green streamer.
We did it. It's the end of the road. The last of the streamers. Also, Bowser's there. <laughs> it's like that TikTok sound where it's like, look at her. She is glorious and beautiful and wonderful. And he's there too. Like, that's not the exact wording, but it always kills me and it makes me laugh so fucking hard. Hi, Bowser. Um, is something bad gonna happen? Yeah. Ugh! Oh my god, there's scissors? I guess I should have seen that coming because everyone was like, scissor cut up outside, but like, Jesus Christ. The dual bladed duelist, scissors. Hmm. well dodged. Of course I expect nothing less. It would have been terribly boring to end things so quickly, yes? Are you gonna rhyme the entire time? You see what I did there? Why don't you warm up for a bit? I'll send out my new pet for you to play with. Oh my god. What? Mm, why do you just have a cage? Oh! Oh my... It's like... It's like that dog girl in Full Metal Alchemist. Except, maybe, not worse, but like, it's, it's in the same realm, right? I feel like, I feel like the scientists would be very proud of this. Oh my gosh. Do those scissors make that, um, thing out of people's faces? I can hardly even look at it. How monstrous. And yet, you must face it. Have fun. I'll be waiting if you, uh, happen to survive. You little asshole. Oh! Uh, oh my god! Um... Excuse me? Little bitch ass. <laughs> how? Hold on. How? How the fuck? Okay. Okay. We smacked it. I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. I hope that you get saved. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not terrifying. Is uh, ah! not terrifying at all. We're not fucking stressed. Oh my god. I am not good at timing. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I think it's Pela. Oh. Are you hyper-beaming me? Are you- Did you literally just hyper-beam me? Also, it kind of, like, it kind of reminds me of Polygon. Uh, like the, the- the Pokemon. That does, like, that cute- Oh! Oh my god! I'm so sorry, I'm so stressed. Yeah, is it better though, babe? You're like, halfway did- I don't know, I hope that your bot- Oh, fuck. I hope that your body, like, re- Oh! 25 damage. Oh my freaking goodness. I hope that you're able to get attached to your body again. Like, we'll use glue, maybe? Like, we can use glue? <gasps> Look at Kamek! Mario, it's me, Kamek. This monstrosity has hijacked my magical abilities. Oh! What the fuck? Watch out. He's charging up an extremely powerful spell. If you could just remove my face, it should be significantly weaker than this, uh, paper mistake. Try to dodge the attack and then peel my face off. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous. Just do it. I... How am I supposed to dodge this, babe? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me this goddamn face. Give me this face now. Give me this face now. Come back, my friend. Oh! My fucking God. Give me this goddamn face. Oh my God. Please no. 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 Oh my God. Ah! Okay, well, that was fucking rude of you, friend. Okay, come on. Get to the goddamn face. Please! No! God, please get it off. <laughs> please get it off! Fuck. Okay, hold on. We got this. We got this. We got this. We're not gonna fall for just the one again. We're not gonna fall for it. Oh my god. This. I wish I could, like, dodge and roll or some shit, but, like, I can't. I can't. This is just pain, pain, and more pain! Pain! Oh! Get the fuck... Get off! Give me my friend back! Uh, fuck me. God damn it. It's so close. It's only gotta be one more time. Like, it's hanging on by a little thread. By a little heckin' thread at this point. Give me a look at the Hello? You stole my face. Oh, come on! No! Please! Thank fucking goodness. Give me this thing. 
Am I still gonna have to kill it though? I think so. You've done it. Now it's just an ordinary giant buzzy needle with slightly less devastating attacks. Finish it off quickly, will you? All right, come back. Yes, I will, friend. Oh, please don't come at me like that. Please don't do that. Oh my goodness. What? Ah! Oh my fucking God. Please, please, please let me get to that quickly. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're gonna be so mad. They're gonna be so freaking angry. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna wait for them to get mad. Oh! <laughs> Why is... No! <laughs> We're almost dead. If we die, do we have to do this entire thing all over again? Because I will cry. I will fucking cry. Oh no. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh, my fucking God, give me this heart, give me this heart. I don't even care, don't you dare. Don't, nothing better happen. Hi, Kamek. Don't forget about the scissors. I'm not gonna forget about the scissors, babe. You, you think I forgot about the scissors who cut your face off, like... No. I suppose any toy made out of the faces of those pathetic minions were bound to be flimsy. No matter. I trust you've warmed up. On guard. Are you fucking... Mm. Okay. Are you gonna scissor me? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, because I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Maybe not when you're pointy like that, but like, mm, there's covers for that. There's, there's little covers for that. Let me get this straight. I will annihilate you, but I don't see why we can't have some fun first. After all, where's the challenge in slicing you to strips immediately? Therefore, I shall grant you a slight advantage. Oh! They covered it up. They said protection and safety first. And we appreciate that. We appreciate that. A protecting king. See, my blades have been sheathed. We're on equal footing. However, should you damage this cover during our battle, I shall interpret such boldness as a direct challenge. And I won't hold anything back. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to not damage your fucking cover then? Am I just supposed to jump on you the entire time? Which is fine, I can definitely do that. But like, what? Okay, it's fine. Okay, honestly, let's maybe... Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna go left. We're gonna grab that. We're going to go down. We're going to hit the on button. Go down again. And let's maybe try doing just a regular fist right now and seeing if we can jump on it maybe thank you so much i appreciate you aim your attacks carefully okay i got yes i, I understand that bit babes i understand that bit i'm fucking stressed is what i am okay so what if we jump if we jump baby i freaking hope please please tell me this did not damage your heckin cover oh thank goodness okay i don't think it did I fucking, I am so stressed at the fact that this, this boss was like, I am too fucking powerful. Like, how stressful is that? Like, I am too powerful for you, so we're just gonna, like, dull myself a little bit. <laughs> like, how, what? What? Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna go to the left, go down to the right, down again. And let's use a hammer attack this time. I don't like the, ugh. I want to use that hands attack. Right? Like, I really want to use the hands attack since we turned the thing on, but I'm just really stressed that by chance the, the green part needs to be, like, up in the air in case, like, they grab it. Like, I'm just really stressed about, like, which part the hands are going to attack, like, if it's going to attack the top portion or the bottom portion. And the idea of breaking these scissors sounds painful. All right, so we're going to go to the right. We're going to go down. To the right. Um, we're going to go down. Oh my god, my brain cannot. There we go. Let's go. I think that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I really hope these hands do me right. I'm going to be I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad sad if these hands smack the cover. Please, 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 please. Please get the top part. Please only get the top part. Oh no! I fucked up! Oh no. 
I knew that was a bad idea. <sighs> Amateur, you've broken the safety cover. I did warn you. My blade has been unsheathed. Now it must taste ink and paper. And we're not even like a fourth way done with their health. <laughs> you shan't be needing these, and I prefer an uncluttered battlefield. You little bitch ass. I liked those. Oh my god. I'm readying my ultimate attack. You won't stand a chance. I am fucking stressed. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the right. We're gonna go down. We're gonna continue going down. We're gonna grab this chest. And we're gonna grab this fucking thing. I feel like it's gonna do like 50 damage. I feel like it's gonna do like 50 fucking damage and I am going to cry. Okay, hammer, hammer, hammer. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> please, please, please. Okay, 16 is not bad. Oh my God, please. Guarding is useless. This is the end for you flat friends. Not friends, you flat fiends. Farewell. We jumped over? Oh, fucking thank goodness. Uh, hey, th that's not fair. You can't jump over it. Oh, you cheater. Stay right there. Let me go again. I'm so glad. Because I feel like that's going to be like a one-shot KO. You little bitch ass. Hold on, I want those. Okay, we're going to turn our hands back on. We're going to turn our hands on. And hopefully... That'll be good. Okay, so left. We're going to grab that. We're going to get that on button and we're going to get our hands. That seems pretty okay. I'm so fucking stressed. <sighs> please, 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 please do a lot of fucking damage. Are we just going to smack you? Are we just going to smack you? Oh god, I'm really stressed that it's going to like cut my hands off. Oh god. Ah! I'm going to cry. I need to listen to my gut. I need to fucking listen to my gut. We're just gonna sit here and do hammer attacks. We're just, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna sit here and do hammer attacks the entire time. Okay, that's fine. I just want that plus one. The plus one is literally all I care about. That way I can attack twice in a single round. Okay, so we need to, okay, so we're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna go down. Um, we're going to go down more. We're going to grab this, get the plus one, and then we're going to get that so we can attack twice, and we're going to use our high attacks. We're going to we're gonna use our nice hammers. We're going to use our nice hammers. I am determined for us to stay at four deaths. Like, we've only died four freaking times in this entire series so far, and I refuse to die. So we are doing our diddly fucking darndest, aren't we, pals? Okay, 26, 26. That's a lot of fucking damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, come on, come on. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! They're fucking faking us out now? They can do that? I hate it here. This is the worst. This is the worst. Okay, so we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna go down. Ooh, my fucking god. Um. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. Everything's fine. Everything is peachy freaking keen. So we're gonna go to the left, get that heart, go down. Um. We got this. Okay, go down. Go to the... I don't want to go that way, though. Um... Um... I don't want to go that way, either. It'll go on button. Oh, God, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. Go left. Go down. Because I... want us... I really want us to get a fist. 
That's 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 what my overall goal is. I want us to get a fist. So that's not gonna work either. I think I fucked up. We're gonna try this again because I only got 27 seconds left, and I am in pain. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go down. We're gonna get a nice spicy little coin. We're gonna get another, not a spicy coin. We're gonna get a chest. We're getting a god diddly damn chest. We got this. Yeah, I know to jump at the right moment. Please give us some good shit. And we're gonna hit you with this again. Oh my god. Also, I just really, really love the, like, the ambiance of this room. I love the spikes. Fuck me in the asshole. Oh my god, this is freaking terrifying. Like, this is the worst. This is the worst. And by worst, I mean best. This is a great boss battle, but I am terrified. Fucking terrified. Okay, 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 okay. So, let us. Let's go down. Um. Okay, let's go down. Let's grab this. And then this. Is that going to be too close to um to the scissor part? I hope not, because I'm a little stressed that it's going to be a little too close. <laughs> I am so stressed. Okay. Ooh, oh god. I hope that doesn't break in the middle of me fighting with this. I feel like it might break. Oh god. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Maybe it might break now. One more. God. Fuck me. Oh! I'm gonna gasp every time. I'm so sorry. I'm no, I know that's really loud, but it is really stressing me the fuck out. Like, like, it's so good and so terrifying. Okay, well that was rude of you. I was using that. I was using that. You could have, you could have said please, but I guess not. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna head down. I don't think I want this just yet. Um, see, what I really want is this chest. I really want that chest, but if anything, I'd rather, I'd rather us have an attack over a chest. Okay, so what if we did this, and then we did this? Look at us doing the puzzle shit. We're good at this game. <laughs> I am so scared that we're going to die last minute, um, because they still have a fourth of their life left. They still have a fourth of their freaking life left. I feel like I'm gonna fuck up on this timing and we're gonna die. Oh god, please, 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 please. Ah! Mm. Clench them fucking booty cheeks, y'all. Clench them booty cheeks. This is the first try. We got this. We're gonna fucking win on first try. Ah, okay, we really gotta open that chest now. No matter what this round, we have to get that heckin' chest. Okay, so. We're gonna go to left. We're gonna head down. Um, we need this chest. This little asshole. Could you imagine fleeing right now? How funny would that be? Actually, you know, let's cheer a little bit. Let's do a little bit of a cheering. Because I want them to, like, shuffle it around a little bit, please. You know what? I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take the hearts. Thank you. Yes, I understand that that's currently what's gonna happen, but the issue is, are we just gonna surpass that actually? I thought that we were gonna stop on that, but if we're not stopping on it, let's do that and that and that. I think that's fine. I think that's the thing that's pretty keen. Cause hopefully we'll just be able to turn that button on, which is fine. We're not gonna use it obviously, cause otherwise we're gonna get absolutely freaking destroyed. And that's not cool. Okay, please, please, please. Oh my God. How much damage has this guy had? Like, a lot. Also, I really think it's funny. Oh, our hammer broke! Oh! My fucking god. I'm so sorry about the gasping. Oh my freaking goodness. Holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, not the plus one. I literally got the plus one for a reason, damn it. I went out of my way to get that plus one. Okay, to the right, we're gonna go down, and we're gonna grab this. 
And that is pretty much all we can do. Let's grab another coin. Let's grab another coin because we're greedy and we deserve coins after this bullshit. <laughs> Give me this shiny hammer, please, please, please. I feel like they only need like three more attacks. God, maybe four, fuck, maybe four. God, I almost fucking missed that one. I, al I almost missed that one. We pff, we were this fucking close. We were, oh, we were this close. This is too much for my feet to fucking handle. I'm not even gonna lie. Ah! Oh, why do you keep why do you keep getting my plus one? Are you scared? Are you scared? Which is valid. Like we're fucking you up, but like that was really fucking rude of you. <laughs> okay, let's grab this. We're gonna grab this. And we're gonna obviously get more heckin' coins, too. Obviously. Okay. Two more, two more, two more. And then we get to continue on with our lives. And you'd think by now, after all of this attacking, I'd get at least- <gasps> Are you fu- No! I'm so fucking glad that we had that life mushroom because it literally is a sliver like it is going to die this turn and I would stream over it would have been stream fucking over if we would have died there I'm gonna go stock up on some goddamn life mushrooms after this are you fucking kidding me are you are you kidding me Are you kidding me? <laughs> I watched that and almost scream for you. Thanks, curls. I I don't know when I fucking got that life shroom, <laughs> but I almost. <laughs> but I'm really sweaty. <laughs> this is too emotional for me. I'm lurking, but I'm sweating bullets, right? Like, uh, I just. <laughs> I feel like I need to like, I'm gonna make a marker because I, I feel like I need to clip that. I, d I feel like I need to go back and clip that and <laughs> Thank you. We're all fucking clenched. All of our fucking booty cheeks are just like right up in there. <laughs> Let me take some hydration. Please take some hydration. Another sip. I'm like shaking a little bit. <laughs> like that was so difficult. The, that was so difficult. The thing is like, it probably would have been so much easier if my ding dong fucking booty ass didn't unsheath them. But my asshole, my, my, myself decided to break the sheaths, but that was unfair. <sighs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. <sighs> Continuing. We're good. We're fine. Nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Okay, you little gremlin, gotta do some posture because you are oh, just yes. hunched Hydrate, over. you little yeah, gremlin. Stress the fuck out. Get, get you a posture check. Please <laughs> just, just sit the fuck up, Tovi. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone posture check. Unshrimp that body. <sighs> and hydration. Thank you so much. I needed that. <laughs> I, I needed that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Sophia, mix it up, bot. You've got mix it up bot now, literally mix it up bot. You can attach sounds and alerts and like your own voice recordings to channel points. And it is the funniest freaking thing. And it makes me so happy inside. I just, I just love them. I spent like two or three hours a couple of like months ago thinking, what can I do to make, make, to make it more fun? And I was like, let's just, let's add voices. Ah! <laughs> and so thank you. They make me so happy at home. We're going to sit up again because like, whew, damn y'all, <laughs> I am sweaty. I am sweaty and that was a lot and that was a rough boss battle.
That was a difficult boss battle that we almost fucking lost to. Whew. How about that? Had enough? They'll teach you to underestimate my friend Mario. Huh? Please tell me you're dead. Please tell. Oh. Okay, why do I always feel a little bad about when they like die? Or blow up, excuse me. It's hilarious, but at the same time, I feel bad. Oh, they're alive! Kamek's alive! Kamek's alive! Fucking Kamek's alive! I fucking love Kamek. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know, but we won. You're absolutely fucking right. We won. <laughs> only because of that life shroom. Like, we... We, we only won because of that life shroom. There was... There, it wasn't gonna happen any other way. Hi, Arx! How are you doing? Listen. We're feet. We're feet. Don't, don't, don't ask questions. Just join in on the toes. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> what Mario character do you kin? I, I really, okay, I'm, Ollie is my chosen name. Ollie is my chosen name. And I fucking love Ollie in this game. Like, Ollie was my chosen name before I started playing this game. And so the fact that the evil, like, character who's, like, all ripped out and non-binary and, and, like, non-binary uh, garb is the fucking evil person of this camp- uh, like, I was gonna say campaign was the evil person of this game. I have to say Ollie. <laughs> like, the origami fucking royalty themselves. Damn. <laughs> that and Kamek. I fucking love Kamek with my entire butthole. Like, look at them. Look at them. They just want- <sighs> They just want appreciation and validation for all of the fucking hard work that they do. Like, Bowser makes them do so much. We're gonna go a little rant. Like, Bowser makes Kamek do so fucking much. Like, without any sort of like, oh, thank you, you're doing a great job. Like, they just want a little bit of like appreciation in there. And like, <laughs> I feel that. I feel bad. I just wanted someone to say, I notice you. Good job. <laughs> you know? And so I fucking love Kamek so much. I just love Kamek. That and fucking Bombus. Bomb mom. Excuse me. I keep calling them Bombus because one time someone said Bombus for Bomb mom's name in this game. And so I just called him Bombus. But like Bombus, I fucking love the Bomb mom that we had in this game also. I fucking love them. And obviously like Birdo. Fucking love Birdo. Oh my God. What a sweet baby. What a sweet baby. What about you? I'm curious. What about you? <laughs> Hi, social mechanic. I hope you're doing well. And uh, Toby, do we need to talk about the um, gravel grabbers? What are gravel grabbers? I'm a Google. Hold on. We're Googling it right now. The fuck are gravel? Hold on. Gravel, gravel grabbers, gravel grabbers. I probably shouldn't Google this. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna mute this tab, just in case, just in case, because I'm so curious. Uh, <laughs> like, all the characters are so good. Like, I eventually really want- Oh, they're just toes! <laughs> they're just toes! Listen, I googled gravel grabbers, and you know what came up? A Minecraft video. And so I was very confused for a second there. Like, I was very confused. because I was like, how the fuck? Like, what does Minecraft have to do with, 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 with toes? But here we go. We're fine. We're fine. We're, we're fine. Everything's peach keen. <laughs> yeah, I just, like, I am so in love with, with Paper Mario in general. Like, I feel like the entire, like, Paper Mario franchise has been fucking phenomenal. Like, literally the most glorious games in the entire universe, and they are my absolute favorite, like, without hesitation. Like, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Oh, I, I wish I could experience that game for the first time all over again. And also, like, the first one that they made, where you can, like, play as Peach every once in a while, and, like, with the stars and stuff. Like, I wish I could experience those games, like, for the first time all over again. And eventually, I really, really want a Paper Mario, like, collage, like, tattoo um, collage, like, all over, like, I don't know, my leg or maybe, like, down my arm or something like that. I don't know, but I just fucking love them so much. All these characters are so good. <laughs> They're just so good. <laughs> How are you doing, Amy? <laughs> and a friend of mine just sent me a 200-hour top 2,000 cheeses video. <gasps> I would love to look at that. I'd really love hmm? cheese. Cheese? Is it just like rating all the cheeses? Is that what it's doing? Because I want to know. I would love to hear about that. <laughs> 
As a fellow Oliver, I see you. I fucking love that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say. I was like, I know that y'all's name is Oliver too. Dry Bones is my personal fave, but I've begun embodying Wario. Okay, listen. Wario is fucking amazing too. Like Wario and Waluigi are like my favorite. Like they are the non-binary freaking siblings. I, I, can't, I, don't, like, I don't know if they're actually technically siblings, but the non-binary dynamic duo that we fucking need a game of. Like, why have we not gotten a Wario Waluigi game before? Like, I don't know their backstory. I don't know what they're doing in this, like, universe. Like, I want to play as them and wreak absolute fucking chaos on the entire realm. Like, please give us that. Mm, Nintendo, please give us that. I would pay so much money for a game like that. Especially if you, like, were able to, like, like press, like, the left trigger and you just hear, like, wah! I would dress up as Waluigi for every single stream of that game. Oh my god. That's a little, I know I'm being a little excessive, but I fucking love Waluigi and Wario so much. <laughs> like, so much, so much. Uh, and you're right, right? They are such freaking fantastic games. And like, I just, oh, I just love it so much. Repost this if you're gay and love pronouns. Absolutely, fucking lutely yes. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it's just raiding all the freaking cheeses. Okay, I fucking love that so much. I love that so much. So if only we could make a chant of that. Unfortunately, they took away the chant feature, which is very rude. But I fucking love that they just sent you that. That is hilarious. And I, I just, I hope that the 200 hour, like, that's a lot of commitment. That's a lot of commitment to cheese, even on like a two times speed which I feel like would be just be incredibly disrespectful to the cheese at that point. Like, why, why would anyone put it on, like, ultra speed? No, you're going to watch it on, like, regular speed and just, like, have it on. Just have it on while you're asleep so it, like, ingrains in your brain. Have it on while you're working. Have it on while you're streaming so everyone gets to hear the cheese love. Mm. It'd be so good. It'd be so good. Oh, my God. I fucking love, like, I have not had a good grilled cheese in such a long time. And now I'm really fucking craving one during the store this week. At the store this week, I'm going to get some grilled cheese stuff. <laughs> I'm going to just get some grilled cheese stuff, right? Like, they're so freaking good. And I've heard so many heckin' people put, um, like, say that they put, like, mayonnaise uh, on, like, the bread. Because mayonnaise is literally just, like, a couple of spices, some, like, egg, like, I think egg whites and, like, butter and like that's really it like mayonnaise is really really simple and oil excuse me and oil and so like it does a really really good job at like crisping up and like making um bread like very flavorful and very like delicious and i have not yet tried like mayo crusted i'm gonna call it mayo crusted grilled cheese and i really need to especially if you do it on like that really thick texas toast and you do like a couple different like cheese flavors and cheese flavors wow cheese types in there i feel like that'd be very very good my lactose intolerant self might not like it that much, but like, it'd be fucking delicious and it's gonna happen this weekend. <laughs> like literally, oh my God. And right, I think it's actually 200 minutes, not hours. Well, damn, I mean, 200 minutes is still a lot of time. <laughs> like that's almost four hours. Like it's a little over three hours, which is freaking hilarious. And I freaking love that. And I just love that someone really was just like, let's just make a 200 minute video of cheese. Like, I feel like that was for the gays, and I appreciate that personally. <laughs> and mayo, okay, yes, mayo. See, I, and mayo, okay, every, everyone, I love that y'all are just like, yes, fucking mayo, because that makes me so happy, because I've seen so many people talking about it, and I, like, and it makes sense. It makes sense, because people usually put, like, butter and stuff on the side of them anyway, and so, like, mayo is, like, literally just, like, extra spices. Like, I feel like mayo is, ve like, a very underrated, like, condiment. Because I used to put mayo in like cake batter mixes too, because like literally it moistened up cakes because all it is, is some extra egg, oil, water, and like a little bit of like spices. And so it makes cakes so much more flavorful and it gives cakes a lot more moisture as well, especially like box cakes. And so if you just put like a scoop or two in there when you're making like, like a box cake mix, it makes it so much better. And I always used to tell people that I did that and people would sit there and be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like they'd just be like, why is there mayo in this fucking cake? And I'd be like, it's just moisture. Like it's literally just like broken down. If you break it down, it's all items that go into cake. You know, you know, <laughs> social mechanic, get out. Joking, get out. 
<laughs> just wait until you try. I will, I will make a cake for you with mayonnaise and you will maybe like it. <laughs> maybe not. I take that back. Probably not. <laughs> I wonder if you could do that for a gluten-free cake. Like, I bet you could. I bet it would moisten a gluten-free cake up a bit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I just love that, right? Still over three hours of cheese ranking. Thank you, Buttspot. Hold on, still over three hours of butt ranking. Okay, how fun would it be to like rank booties? We could rank all the Spider-Man booties. We could add in Shrek's booty. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Never mind. I take it back. Right? Cheese is so good. Cheese is so freaking good. They did that for the aces. Yes, they were like, you know what? What do we? Got? What? What do aces like? Cheese, and they're right. As a fellow ace, they are fucking right. <laughs> they are so right. Okay, hold on. Get yourself some lactose-free cheese. Use mayo instead of butter. Oh, add a little mustard and your preferred spices. A little bit of sliced apple and your favorite cheeses. Hold on. I'm just going to copy that and throw it in my Tofi notes. That way. I remember that because my streamer brain is going to fucking forget. Okay. Sliced apple. I'm really excited. I've never had apple with cheese before. And I mean, like, I am, like, I really like the subtle, like, sweet combination of things. Like, I'm a very big, like, chicken salad with, like, cranberries in it, right? For, like, that, like, just, a, like, a little subtle hint of fruitiness. And so I feel like that'd be really good. And so I'm really excited to try that. So we are definitely gonna be uh, getting some, um, getting some grilled cheese stuff at the grocery store this weekend. Ooh. I'm also, um... I'm also going to try to make like spam masubi this weekend as well, or sometime next week. I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff for spam masubi because I saw on TikTok someone had made like a spam wasubi um, like dinner, except it was like topped over a rice bowl. So they just like made white rice um, and they like cooked spam like you would for spam masubi, except just like cut it up into little pieces, put it in a pan and just like shoved um, like crinklies of seaweed and stuff on top with like spices and like soy sauce and stuff. And it looked really, really good. And so I'm gonna have to do that eventually. Like sometime this next week, is, it's also gonna be on my list. So it's gonna be a large week full of trying new things. And I cannot heck and wait. I cannot heck and wait. Well, I always have to think about sex. Aces have to have their minds focused on more important things like cheese. Exactly. What is more important than sustenance? Cheese is a great sustenance. Listen, cheese is made from milk, which comes from cows, which has protein, so it's healthy. While we're out here getting stronger with cheese, you're getting laid? <laughs> Excuse you? We are superior. Obviously. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that could be taken so many ways. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. A delicious week, right? Like, it just sounds so good. It just, I just, I cannot wait. Like, I am a big food person. I love food. And I love trying new things. And because, like, my brain, again, gets stuck on things. Like, I am the type of person, if I really like a meal or really like um, like a certain food or like a certain show, I get hyper fixated and I literally will eat that thing or like watch that show for like weeks. Like weeks and weeks and weeks. Forever. And I just, I love that it caught horny. I love that auto mod was like, horny? <laughs> Not in the fucking swamp. <laughs> And so I feel like I'm going to get very hyper fixated or hyper focused, whatever the word is there. I feel like I'm going to get very like focused on either this grilled cheese or this rice thing. And I'm excited for it. I'm excited as a particularly horny aloe. I can confirm we spend way too much time thinking about sex. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. <laughs> don't know what that's like. <laughs> I fucking love that. That's so funny. You know what? Different people love different things and I fucking love that. <laughs> right, right. Like, I'm glad. Okay, horny. Like, I feel like horny was a good one to catch. Like, but like, are horny and lesbian on the same level, Automod? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let us talk about lesbians. <laughs> Please. I just, oh, uh, Automod kills me. And I think like, I've got it on really low settings is the thing. Like, because of the bullshit I talk about on this stream and like I'm pretty like free flying unless you do like some racist homophobic shit right like 
I'm pretty good with like words that people throw in here. Like I don't really care that much as long as it's not harmful to communities, right? And so it's just so funny that it keeps catching these. I need to like turn it off. Uh, maybe I just, I'm a little afraid of turning it like completely off. But then again, I also went through and did like hours of putting my own words in there because I had to do that for all the hate raid stuff. Like I literally spent like hours putting in like hundreds of words into our ban list because of that. So I feel like we'd be pretty okay if we turn it off. So maybe, maybe we will turn it off. <laughs> and please let us talk about lesbians, right? Like, let's go lesbians. Let us talk about lesbians, please. Please, we deserve it. But for real, I love how different people are, right? Like, it's so much fun. Like, everyone's got, like, such a unique personality and, like, no person is the exact same. And it, I think that's really, really great. Like, same thing for, like, animals and stuff, too. Like, so, like, I've never met, like, two of the same cat, which I freaking love. I love how distinct personalities are. Everyone's got, like, different things that they like. And it just makes me really, really happy because, I don't know, I think it's really, really fun because it's always going to be a variety of who you're going to heck and talk to, which I really, really like. And then, right, I think if you've got so many words on the ban list, you might be safe. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think we're pretty good. Like, Kami Anya, the absolutely lovely heck and soul they are. Um, they they worked on a document um, with a couple other streamers and pretty much just, like, made a giant ban list that has a lot of stuff on there. Like, a lot of stuff on there. Like, hundreds of words, hundreds of terms. Um, and... A couple months ago, I went through and did all that because people were getting doxxed and raided and a bunch of bullshit was happening. And so I went through and I did all of that because I was like, well, we're fucking protecting this community as much as hell possible. And so it took a spicy second. It took a spicy second. So I feel like we don't really need Automod at this point. Like, I feel like it's just like there just just so it can be there. Like, I feel like I can easily take it off. Bye. I hope you have a great day, social mechanic. It was so good to heck and see you for a second. Have a great heck and time zone. And I have two twin kittens. Oh, and they're, <laughs> and they're complete opposites. Oh, I fucking love that, right? Like, they all have such distinct personalities, even if they come from the same litter. And I just fucking love that. And, right, I feel like Automod doesn't help, yeah, much at all usually, right? Because, like, it always flags things that, like, like, it doesn't know what you want to allow in your community, right? And I feel like there are like there are not a lot of times where I actually have to go in and delete someone's message because people are good. Like they don't put bullshit in the chat, which is exactly what we want. Um, we've probably deterred enough people by now to where assholes won't come in here and try things, right? And so I feel like I don't even like I think there's only been a single time where I've had to like like delete someone's message and it was because they used a Pepe emote and like that was literally it because other than that like we're usually really good like I don't know we're usually really really good right so maybe maybe we'll just maybe we'll just turn it off <laughs> we don't we don't need it let's be honest and speaking of lesbians I love that sentence speaking of lesbians the new Mexico oh whiptail lizard is called the lesbian lizard because they are all female, no males, they were produced by doing a fancy mating dance. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna have to like look that up. I'm so curious. I always like, I, I am not good at like <laughs> animals. <laughs> like I'm not good at other animals and like, I don't do a lot of research into like, or I don't actually, I feel like I should like be on more like animal TikToks. So I think it's really interesting hearing about different animals. Um, and like that kind of stuff, but like I just don't go out of my way to like research it, right? But it's always really fun getting those like tidbits of like facts on my like for you page on TikTok and like on Twitter and stuff. And so I really love that. I'm gonna look into that because that's really, really cool. I love hearing that kind of stuff. And right, this is my favorite animal fact, right? Like how fucking cool is that? Like they just said, <laughs> men? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> And George is an absolute gremlin who likes hiding and getting into places where he shouldn't be. Well, for, I fucking French Rico. I fucking love that. Where French Rico is a low energy, chonky, cut, chonky, cuddly boy with an air of royalty around his demeanor. I love that so fucking much. Tofu is like the same thing. Tofu... Tofu is like George, where he will get into literally everything. He will open cabinets. He will open doors. He will scream at you for like half an hour until you open the door to let him in the room because he wants to cuddle and like just be around people. But like Leonard, my other cat, is very much a uh, like, I'm going to sleep all day in the sun. And if you come to pet me, you come to pet me. And if you don't, that's cool too. Like I'm just going to heck and hang out and vibe and, <laughs> and sleep literally all day. Like I want to be Leonard. 
I want to be Leonard. <laughs> like he is such a low energy cat and he is like the sweetest boy. And it's just, I just really love like the duality between them. And then we've got another cat, my roommate's lovely cat, Lilith. It's like kind of a weird mix between them where she like sleeps a lot. She'll just go fucking pass out for like hours and hours and like just like lays around and be like a little lazy and just like hang out around. And then like, and then other times she'll be fucking bouncing off the walls and like chasing Tofu and chasing Leonard and like screaming. It's just really, really funny. It's just really funny. And right. Yeah. It's, it's rough that people still are trying to justify the use of Pepe emotes. And like, I just, especially in so many queer spaces too, like, I don't know why, but like, there are so many people who are in the LGBTQIA plus community who still like are like trying to defend it and reclaim it. And I'm like, babes, do a little research. <laughs> like, I, hold on, do I even have a, I finally created it. I finally created it. For the longest time, I was like, hmm, I probably should create a Pepe like command in case people try to like put that in here and ask me about it. And I fucking kept forgetting, but I finally did. But like, I'm like, if you do a little research, like you'll realize that it's still really shitty and there's cuter emotes, like, please, please. <laughs> and it's just, it's just wild to me. And right, I hate buddy emotes. Listen, Twitch hates buddy emotes. Twitch refuses to let me have my booty emote, which I'm not mad about at all. I am mad about it. But it's fine. We're going to make a butt emote eventually. We love butts in here. We love butt emotes. It's going to be fine. One of these days. One of these days. I am like anxious. Not anxiously. What's the word? I am excitedly. That's not the right word either, but we're going to go for it. I am excitedly waiting for the day for me to get follower emotes. Because like I kept like my butt emote, I kept trying to um, like approve just kept getting rejected, which means I do not qualify for follower emotes because, uh, because I've had a like emote rejected in the last, like however long it is. I don't even know how long it's been now, <laughs> but like, if you don't have, um, if you, if you have an emote rejected in like a certain timeline, you don't qualify for follower emotes. And it's been like a good like month or two now where I still just have not had the ability to have follower emotes because I keep like, I got rejected like two months ago or something. And I don't know when we're going to get our follower emotes, but eventually when we do, eventually when we do, we're going to have some fucking follower emotes. And I really want to try to get a butt emote passed for that. <laughs> we're going to have a toe emote, obviously, <laughs> obviously. And we're going to have some sort of booty emote. I don't know what else we're going to do, but like those are the two that are on my mind. And you were able to get a butt emote past Twitch. Fuck yes. I'm so glad you were because it is so difficult now. Also, I love that. I like the, uh, I like the marks on the jeans. <laughs> I just fucking love that so much. Oh my God. But like, I just really want a booty emote. Like I tried to upload a, um, a cat butt emote. And like, the thing is the cat had underwear on, like, so it, nothing was showing. It had cat underwear on. Nothing was showing, but they just kept yelling at me. And I've seen so many emotes with cat butts and so I don't know why they hate me is it the feet is it the feet twitch because I think that's valid I think that's a valid answer if it's because of the feet but like still rude as fuck <laughs> and right I know like the thing is like the Pepe emotes are fucking awful like no offense to the creator of Pepe you did a great job it's just it, you're fine but, like the Pepe emotes like they're not even cute they're not even cute. They're like a really creepy fucking frog. Like really cute, like a really creepy frog. I don't know, babe. Like why? Why? Why do you still want to use it? Why do you still want to use it? Oh, I don't actually know if toe emotes are allowed. I'm guessing they are. Like, I feel like we could like get a, get a good like face picture of me like, like this or something and upload that as an emote. So I think the toes are going to be fine. Like I just, I just, can't upload anything right now. We're gonna we're gonna make a whole bunch of emotes for them. We're gonna make a whole bunch of emotes for them, and our cat butt is going to be the last thing that we try, just in case, just in case I get banned again from using follower emotes. Um, and I really hope that's not the case, because I feel like if you have follower emotes, you should keep follower emotes. But I really don't know how that all works, and I still don't have them, and I don't know when I'm going to get them, because it's been a while since they've come out, and I still don't have them, even though my last rejection was, like, quite a few months ago at this point, actually. I feel like, I feel like I've been talking about the rejection for a good, like, 
three or four months at this point, but I still just don't have them. And it's so sad. And I was really proud of how it came out. Fuck it. Do you do all your own emotes too? That's really cool. That's really cool. And right, right. The most disgusting things ever, right? Like I just, I don't understand why people have such a hard on for Pepe. I'm, I don't, that's not the right term, but like, I don't know why people like Pepe so much. Like, please, there's so many cuter ones. Like people have cute fucking heart funds. Like use, like use someone else's emote over Pepe emotes. Like people have such better emotes. And also Frugi is much cuter, right? Like Frugi is much cuter than the Pepe emotes. And so it's just, oh, it's just so frustrating. And it's so frustrating when people argue with you too. And it's just, uh, it just is so fucking stressful, my friend. Oh my God. You do? Oh, that's so exciting. I'm an art student, so drawing is a second nature to me. Fuck yeah, that's so exciting. That's really, really exciting. And also like, I feel like Twitch is a great way for that because like you can make your own emotes. You can make like your own like uh, scenes and overlays and things like that if you've got spoons to do so. Like that's really exciting. And I feel like, and like your own panels and shit too. So I really love that. That is really freaking cool. Feel free, like if you've got more, feel free to drop them in the chat because I fucking love seeing people's emotes. <laughs> like emotes are like my favorite thing on Twitch. The people too, obviously, but like emotes bring me so much joy. I fucking like love seeing people's emotes because A, like it just like, it helps show a part of them in their community, which I really, really like because all of them are so personalized to the, like to the person um, and to the streamer. And I just, it gives, it also gives me ideas for what to do also, which I really fucking love. Like it also gives me some ideas <laughs> and I just really like seeing them. And also cause people work really freaking hard on them. Like, I don't know. Emotes take me a spicy second to do also. It takes me a spicy fucking second, but I also am like still learning art, but like it takes me a while to do, to, to like to heck and do any sort of emo. And so like, if you like, and especially cause the streamer pays for them too, like you're paying for them. Someone's working really hard on them. Like there's a lot of time and effort and love and like thought put into emotes. And so like, I just, I want people to spam their emotes because <laughs> I love them. Ooh, my particular favorite ones are these. I fucking love that angry one. <laughs> that angry one is so funny. And also the sword. I fucking love that. And then the animated ones. Oh, that's so fucking cool. I love that. The peep one and the touch grass. <laughs> And the peeping one. That is so fucking cute. I have had such a hard time like figuring out what to do with like animated emotes. I have had such a hard time figuring out what to do with those. Um, but I had these lovely like pride emotes. Here, here are my current ones. Um, but I had these lovely like pride emotes. And so the lovely Coltro like made them like do dun -dun 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 like their like heartbeats. And I really fucking love them. And then Umi, the absolutely freaking lovely heckin' human that fucking Umi is, they made this hilarious fucking no you <laughs> reverse Uno Yu-Gi-Oh Shrek non-binary card, which is like my favorite thing. And it makes me so happy inside. And Sky and I are working so hard at revamping our emotes. I hear that. Fuck yes. I am so excited to see what y'all are going to do for them. Do you have any ideas? Are you doing Hamtaro ones? Because I know y'all fucking love Hamtaro and also Kingdom Hearts. Like, do y'all know what you're going to do for them yet? And also, if you don't want to share because you want them to be a surprise, that is valid too. No worries. <laughs> that is valid too. I fucking love those. And the cats. Oh my God. I love... Look at the little crossed paw. Just... Little crossed paw. Little crossed paw. Oh, sweet babies. Oh my fucking God. That makes me so happy. They look so cute. George and Fred. I love them. What sweet babies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. They're so good. And they're going to be of us and our cat mostly. Yes. Because I want to make stuff we can make into physical stickers. Oh my fucking God. I am so excited. I also really fucking love stickers. And so like, I've got stickers. I've got, I've got my own merch stickers, like my own uh, emo stickers on my guitar case also. And they're so much fun. Like I, I love stickers so much. I love putting like stickers of my friends as fucking like emotes and shit on my, on my guitar case. And so I'm really excited for more stickers. <laughs> I still have so many people's stickers that I need to buy. Like I need to just go on a sticker buying thing whenever I have a moment and whenever I have a chance because I need more stickers. I need more freaking stickers. <laughs> And yes, he's a very polite boy. I'm so glad. What a sweet baby. I just love that. Tofu does that too. Tofu does that too, where he'll just like daintily just like cross the paws when he like sits anywhere and it's the funniest thing. And I just love it because he's such an asshole everywhere else who like screams and runs around. So I'm like, how the fuck are you going to be dainty in your like in your sitting position, but then you're going to be an absolute menace. Like, oh, 
it's fine. It's fine. I love them. <laughs> and they were named, uh, yep, after, yep, the transphobic wizard franchise characters by my sister, but we tweaked them to make a little better. Yeah, absolutely feel that. I feel like it's just... I feel like a lot of folks uh, had that very similar situation, especially for folks in the LGBTQIA plus community where like, we really related to those books and really like loved those books because they're very nostalgic. And then when everything came out after we had a whole bunch of like, like tattoos and like, uh, like items and a whole bunch of other stuff, it was just kind of like a, well, fuck, let's just um, get some cover ups and like tweak bullshit because it all sucks. So I feel that <laughs> what a, what a bad fucking time friends. Oh God. But it's okay. It's okay. There are better things. There are better things. I just gotta cry about it a little bit. <laughs> and validly cry over it. Because it sucks. Oh. Oh goodness. Yeah, don't get me started on the whole mess, right? Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that, pals. We're not gonna talk about it. Oh goodness. Yeah, just a mess. It's just a mess. Oh goodness. We're actually gonna smash this streamer. You did it, Mario. I'm fully restored, and I even managed to hang on to my wand. I really loved the, um, I don't know if y'all, I didn't read, like, the Warrior Cats when I was younger. I wasn't, like, a big fan of, like, the, war like, I don't think, I wouldn't say big fan. I just never got into the Warrior Fan or the Warrior Cat um, franchise, book series, whatever it's called. But I was super, super into the Redwall series, which was by Brian Jacques, Jacques, something like that, Brian something. And they, like, it was all stories about, um like little uh, like little like woodland animals going on like grand adventures and I just really love them. I haven't read them in a really long time so I don't know if they hold up and are still like good and not like problematic, but I remember that they were some of my favorite freaking books in the entire world and like for the longest time like I really fucking loved the name Matthias or Matthias uh M A T T H I A S Matt for short, because that's what one of the like main characters were named that I just, ah, oh, they were like the hero of the story and a cute little mouse. And I'm a rat in my Chinese Zodiac. And I was just like, <laughs> I just fucking loved it. I loved it. Right. Never huge on books, loved comics and manga though. Yeah. Like my brain could never really like read a lot of books at the same time. Like I, I am such a bad reader. Like I'm the kind of person who will read a paragraph start on the next paragraph and then com like completely forget what happened to the previous paragraph. Like my mind would just be blank. Um, I've got aphantasia. I think that's what it's called where you like can't see anything in your brain. Like if someone asks you to picture like a, a red apple or something, I cannot physically see a red apple. And I guess some people can see a red apple in their brain. And so I was always really bad at reading books because they don't have pictures. And so that made like that meant that it took me like 17 times longer to read than most other people. And also because I couldn't really imagine things in my brain or like see like characters or creatures or like scenarios, things like that. I just, I, I couldn't really get into them. And I think that's what I really, really like love about like webtoons and cartoons and, um, or not cartoons, excuse me, like comic books and like manga is that like you actually have physical pictures <laughs> That way, that way for people like me, I can actually see the pictures because otherwise I can't. <laughs> it just, oh, it was so stressful. Yeah. You also know Redwall. Oh my God. I fucking love Redwall. They, like they were literally the best books and they were so fun and so cute. And I also just really love animals in general. So like animals going on like giant grand adventures, being heroes, like slaying creatures was just so much fun. Like I just, oh, it was just very cute and I just loved them. And I feel like they just were so good. And right, that's so sweet though, right? Yeah, and I met someone with the name of Matthias. Oh my God, I love that. They pronounce Matthias, Matthias? In college, I fucking love that. I wonder if their parents had fucking read that book. <laughs> or maybe like, or maybe like it was their chosen name or something, but maybe like someone in their family had read that book and been like, that's the one. <laughs> like, we're doing that. Because <laughs> I love that. Right, right. That's so me. Yeah, just like completely fucking forgetting the previous thing you read. Yeah. And yeah, that's a thing, right? Like, I just, ugh, it, it's always the worst. And I, I don't know if it's hereditary, but it might be because my mom is the same way. Like, she fucking is the same. Like, she can't see pictures in her brain either. But like, the rest of my family can. So I guess we're the ones who got fucked. <laughs> and I don't particularly 
have that. I particularly don't have that, but I just have the attention span of a goldfish. What a mood, what an absolute mood. Yep, and I'm much more visual person though. So if it has pictures, it's naturally better for me. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like I need pictures to function. <laughs> <laughs> to function like I uh, like I just need them because my brain just can't like conceptualize things and like focus otherwise um it's like the same thing for like closed captions too like if I'm watching a tv show and there aren't closed captions I can't like I, I can't pay attention like I can't really see what's going on I can't like hear what's going on like but I like need the physical like seeing like the captions on the screen in order to actually understand things and I don't know why <laughs> like it's just I just need visuals I just I just need visuals and that's why like I recently learned about well I shouldn't say recently like three years ago I found an app called webtoon that's like really fun like I just really love them. They're webtoons. They're great. It's like having a little comic book in your hand on your phone and it's freaking fantastic. And there's so many fun ones and the artwork for a lot of them is freaking phenomenal. And people are just so good at artwork. Like how the absolute fuck, like people are so good at artwork and I'm just very jealous because it is freaking phenomenal. And same on captions, right? Oh my God, I'm glad I'm not alone because like I feel like to a lot of, um, to a lot of people who don't understand that, like <laughs> to a lot of people who don't like understand that it sounds really weird because it's like, how the fuck can't you like understand? Like if you're like hearing the words, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Same thing for like needing to have something in my hands. Like I, whenever I was in school, I like, I would bring Play-Doh to classes. Like in college, I would literally bring like a little tub of like Play-Doh to classes because I could not pay attention like my brain could not like understand what professors were like saying or teaching about unless I had like something to do with my hands and play-doh was like the one thing that I figured I wouldn't get in trouble with because <laughs> I didn't know what else to do because otherwise I wasn't gonna fail all my classes like even like writing notes like even writing notes like couldn't work even though like my hands were busy like I'd have to have like one hand like playing with the Play-Doh and like the other hand, like writing notes because my brain just, it just, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't like pay attention. <laughs> and yeah, same, I'm not a native English speaker. So sometimes I'll watch a show or movie in English without captions to train my understanding, but I have to be absolutely a hundred percent focused for that to work. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how difficult that is then. Yeah. Like I am a I'm not like super skilled in Spanish or anything, but like I taught, like I, I took a lot of Spanish classes because I really, really loved the language and I wanted to like be better at it. But I was definitely, um, I was definitely the kind of person who again, like needed the physical words, like to see the physical words on paper or like in, in captions in order to like actually understand what's going on. Like any time in like Spanish class where we had to do like an oral presentation or anything, like I could not for the life of me fucking like, understand what the people were saying like whenever we had to do presentations in Spanish like I could not for the life of me understand what other people were saying but if they gave me like a, a text written script of what they were saying I could follow along well enough because like I could physically see it in front of my eyeballs <laughs> but it's like I I don't know why I don't know why right and captions help ground me if I want to pay attention to the movie if I'm watching it while doing something else yeah like makes me feel like I can jump in and out absolutely right 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 what a mood because I tend to um I tend to like multitask like I can't just like sit still I tend to multitask so like I'll have like a tv show up or a movie up while I'm like working on artwork or like trying to like do housework or something like that that way there's like something on in the background while I'm trying to do things but like oh yeah right and right that's a really great learning technique right like I think that's freaking fantastic and also because a lot of movies and shows have really weird audio mixing yeah like some media has really quiet dialogue and loud as fuck sound effects yeah I feel like there is definitely a um uh uh it's, it's very difficult um with with that sometimes because I know like movies like the Batman and things like that are like very very quiet like very very quiet and like it's really really hard to pay attention to what they're saying because they're like mumbling and shit and like other movies are just like loud and just like 24 7 just like blah, 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 out there and so it's just it's so much nicer and it's so much more accessible like it's so much more accessible to just have the captions up if you're able to because like then you don't miss anything especially because like Sometimes people are like mumbling too. And I'm just like, my brain needs, needs, needs to like see everything. Like I just, my brain physically needs to see everything. 
<laughs> it's just, oh, I can't pay attention otherwise. I don't know. Every once in a while, I feel like I need to like <laughs> go to like, so like maybe I've got like ADHD or something. I'm like every once in a while, it'd probably be good for me to get like an actual diagnosis for something because I definitely am neurotypical in some or neuro neurodivergent in some way, but like I don't know in what way. <laughs> Because I feel like so many, so many like symptoms kind of overlap, right? So I don't know exactly where I am, but like I know it's somewhere because neurotypical people aren't like this <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh God. Take another hydration. Oh my goodness. But I'm glad that y'all understand and it makes me feel very valid in that. And so I really appreciate it because I just every once in a while... Every once in a while, I'm just like, oh, okay, you don't understand? Cool, we're not going to talk about it again. <laughs> like, we're just going to not mention it to you because you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what voice did I do for Bowser last time? I don't even know. We're going to go for it. Yeah, not bad. I guess some of the things Dad says about you being tidy and a ding-dong aren't true. But I am. But I am tidy and a ding-dong. And that's not a bad thing. Now all we have to do is release the green streamer. Let's take care of it the way we always do, with a big smack. All right, Olivia, I'm so excited because this means we're about to go fight Ollie. Like, I'm so excited. That sounds really rude. Like, I'm so excited to go fuck Ollie up. <laughs> I just... Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, it's gonna be a flashing light, flashing bright light. Watch out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, excuse me, never mind. I, they always bamboozle me. I always think that there's going to be like a flashing, like bright light at the end of that, but there never is. How the fuck? Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm really excited. We are so close to the end of this game. Like so freaking close. And it's just, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Cause this, like we've been playing this for a couple months now and they've had so much content in this game which has been freaking phenomenal and so worth the money. And I just, you know, I feel like I can, like, I'm always, like, they're never gonna be better than this. Like, they're never gonna do better than this. This Paper Mario was, like, so freaking phenomenal that how can they up it? And they do it every single time. Like, they do it every single time from Thousand Year Door to this. And I know that there was one that I missed, like, in the middle. I know that there's another one I've got to go back to in the timeline. But, like, I just, I love these games so much. Great job as usual, Mario. That was the last streamer. We've done it. Fuck yeah, we have. Hold on, we got to save Bowser. I love that we're just doing all this and Bowser's still fucking folded up. Like, we're just like... <laughs> Thank y'all so much for helping me. You know, ever since you first saved me from that wall in Peach's castle, you've just been saving me over and over again. Well, we are Mario. Like, that's what we do, fam. That's what we do for family. Oh, Hannah. Oh, Hannah. So, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you, Mario. I truly couldn't have done any of this without you. Uh, I wouldn't have amounted to anything. You would have amounted to so much without us. You would have amounted to so much. Are you okay, Olivia? Yes, I'm just so happy that we can get to Peach's castle now. Olivia, I love you. But I wonder if I'll be able to stop my brother. Can I do something that important on my own? I mean, we're all going together, fam. You're not gonna be on your own. Hey, origami girl. Excuse me, her name's Olivia. Oh! Bowser being sweet? What the fuck? You didn't think we were gonna let you do that alone, did you? Don't you know how this works? Mario needs to rescue the princess, and I need to find Ollie and punchify his face for making me lack this. <laughs> I love, oh, I, okay, so like Bowser wants to help because it's rooted in spite, but I still really appreciate that. Or at least flap aggressively at them until I get my body back together. Grr. Right, Bowser literally is lawful neutral, right? Like they literally do whatever, he does whatever he wants according to his own laws. <laughs> and I love that for him. What a sweetie. Yeah, I'm gonna get him for what he did to my dad too end for everything I've been through. Like about 40 baths and getting cut into pieces. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Right, like I love, I love it so much. A Bowser's just real good. Just a real good bean, you know? Let's show them the power of Bowser minions and flat paper. Yeah, flat paper's better than folded paper, you little fucks. 
Not true, I like origami better, but for the purposes of this, yes. Oh, you guys, thank you. With all you by my side, I might actually be able to do this. Hell yeah, Olivia. Let me at him! <laughs> me to my fucking siblings when they take the TV or remote from me when I get up to go pee. I'm coming for you, brother. And this time it won't be as so easy to drop a giant boulder on me. I love that her ears just fucking stood up. They were like, ha ha! <laughs> we're fucking him up! <laughs> oh, by the way, how are we actually going to get to Peach's castle, y'all? Wah-ha! Don't worry about that part. Lord Bowser has you covered. But there is one thing you'll need to do. Get me down already! Okay, I do feel really bad that we've just been fucking talking and Bowser's just been, like, there. But you know what? Fuck him. <laughs> He's tried to kill us how many times? He's stolen Peach how many times at this point? You look like a pizza box, fam. I fucking love Comex glasses falling off there, too. Hello? Are you still not unfolded? That's better. Sort of. So, uh, Mr. Bowser, what's your plan for getting to the castle? It's on top of a, a volcano, you see? That's on top of a volcano? I thought it was just on top of a giant fucking hill. Are we gonna be... Are we gonna be snooping around a freaking volcano? Because I'm excited about that. Are there gonna be a whole bunch of the, um... What are those fire babies called? Um... What are those fire baby called? Ah, oh, there's like little, the little, little, the little fire pyro little creatures. Uh, that's in the jump rope game in Mario Party. Are there going to be a bunch of those around? Because I will be so freaking happy because I want those tattooed on my body because they're so cute. Ahem. About the plan for reaching Peach's castle. Perhaps we should have a brief chat, my lord. Wah! <laughs> no time to listen. I have just the thing for such an excursion. Mario. Origami girl. Can we make a bet? Do you think he's going to learn Olivia's name by the end of this game? Probably not. I must prepare a few things. Follow me to the supply closet. We've come out of the closet, actually. I don't want to go back in. It's on the first floor. All right, Bowser, come on, babe. Kamek better fucking come with us. I don't care much about Bowser Jr., but, like, Kamek better come with us. I don't think they are. That's fine. Oh, hold on. Is there any, like, fun stuff over here? Like, did we miss anything? Just to see if there's, like, a secret chest, you know? Oh, I wonder if there's one behind Bowser's um, chair. Hold on. Because the thing is, I want these fucking collectibles. <laughs> like, I don't care about much else in this game, um, as long as we get through the story. But I fucking want these collectibles. They're literally the best things in the entire universe. And I wish that there were actual physical things that I could buy. Because if they had Funko Pops of these heckin' collectibles, mm, I'd be getting so fucking many. Okay, no. Damn. Because I feel like it'd be very cute to have a collectible of Bowser's chair right there. I feel like it'd be very nice. That or like Bowser in paper form has been very funny to see. Because he's just like a little, little, little box. Little box. Okay, hold on. Let's fucking save. Hold on. I know we just saved, but like we're saving again. Okay, where are we going, friend? Hi! Oh, so many of you are saved. I love you. Oh my god. I just love, I just fucking love Shy Guy. Shy guy is my gender. That's all I got. Like, they're- they're my gender. And what does that mean? I don't fucking know, and that's- that's it. <laughs> that's about it. That's all I got. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's fuck off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to talk to you. No offense, Koopa. I just want to get these. I just want to get these so we can go. Oh, give me this mushroom. Because we definitely need to fill these holes. Because last time we just ran away. Because I didn't want to fight everyone. Hold on. Hello? If I smash these... No. Okay. Okay, where the fuck did they go? First floor. First floor. Ooh, this way. There are so many chests we get to open now. Look at this. Or, like, locks we get to open. Legendary boots. <gasps> We're gonna have so much legendary shit for the final battle. Because I am the worst at using items. And so we have so many, like, legendary items. That probably would have been helpful in this last, like, in this last boss fight, too. But, like, here we are. We did our very best. Um, we did our very best. Where did they go? Are they, did they go this way? Where the fuck, Bowser? 
I love that you just said they're in the supply closet and then fucked right off and didn't tell us where the supply closet was. Oh my god! What? Ah, oh, Mario. Welcome. This is merely a supply closet. He says with like 70 bullet bills. But wait until you see what's on the other side of this door. Normally I wouldn't allow you inside these uh, confidential areas, of course. That's why I had this security system installed. No one gets in unless I say so. To unlock the door, you'll have to um, do something with those pillars. It definitely involves pillars. Do something with the pillars and hurry up with it. That was not fucking helpful, friend. Like, that literally was the least helpful thing in the entire fucking universe. Okay. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so obviously... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna just, uh... We're gonna do that. Can we, uh... Can we get you over here? Do I have to... Oh, uh, do I have to get all of them, I wonder? Or can I just get it into the hole? Without, like... We're gonna find out here in a second. No, go this way. Ah, damn it. Okay, so... Let's try this again. We're gonna... We're gonna have to do this. Where it goes to here. So can we get... Can we get... You to look the other way. Um... This way. There we go, hold on. Excuse me. Damn it. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try this. <laughs> so maybe we do have to go all the way around. <laughs> maybe we do have to go all the way heckin' around. That's fine. It's okay. It's kind of cute, actually. I really love this. Um, I really love this. This is actually very adorable. And I would love to have some shit like this in my room. Like, why? I just... This scared me. I was like, is he gonna kill us? I just want to have these bullet bills tattooed on me, too. Like, look how cute they are. They got little fists. They got little fists. Wah! I should have known you'd figure it out. Time to get a refund from my security guy. Anyway, follow me. Babe. I'm sorry to tell you, but like, that wasn't that hard. Like... Bowser. Friend. From, from, from hero to hero. We're gonna call Bowser a hero. From hero to hero. That wasn't that hard. A passcode, like literally just a passcode would have been harder than that. You know? You know? Like I love all the flair and all the fun of it. But like a passcode would have been easier for you. Because then I wouldn't have figured it out. Because there's like thousands of combinations I would have needed to try. But that's okay. That's okay. We're not here to, we're not here to like diss your fucking security system. We are. We are. Wow. This is, um, it's, uh, it's really something. What is it we're looking at? Is there gonna be a giant fucking ship? Patience, Origami. Now, Morio, I've got one more job for you. Come. Come. Right, like that's literally why I'm here, right? Right? <laughs> Push the button on the left and all of our problems will be solved. Do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Is there a giant ship? <gasps> is it a giant Bowser head ship? Is there gonna be a cannon? Please tell me there's a fucking cannon that we've gotta like, use. I want this as a little statue. How cute would that be? I love Bowser. Like Bowser is literally the most like, excessive person in the entire universe. Like, he just fucking went all out. Like, all out for no reason, and I appreciate him for this. Booha! Behold my latest and greatest airship. It's really nice. And you say that, uh, this thing flies? Hell yeah, do. Hi, Bowser Jr. What do you think, Mario? We probably would've used this against you. Maybe we still will. Don't look around too much when you're on board. Well, that's rude as shit. Excuse me. Oh, are you the groundskeeper for the airship too? What? No, this is a magic broom, not one for sweeping. Although I do already see a few dusty areas that could use some attention. Excuse me. Come back, you're doing great, babe. <gasps> Bobbis! Checking in for duty, ma'am. Are you fucking kidding? I thought Bombus died. I thought Bombus died. 
and you've been sitting there alive this whole fucking time, knowing that we've been worried about you. I feel very bamboozled. Bobby, is that you? <laughs> that sounded very, um... Oh! That sounded very King of the Hill, and I'm so sorry. I am hurt. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver. <laughs> I really heard about this, actually. <laughs> What's happening? Am I seeing things? How are there so many Bobbies? But I thought Bobby was gone. And after he saved my life with that uh, big kaboom. Oh. All right, I'm gonna cry tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry myself to sleep tonight, god damn it. Do you have me confused with another bomb on? It's okay, it happens all the time. We do our jobs and when we're done, there's always another bomb on to take our place. All of us can, ho all any of us can hope for is to make an impact, ma'am. That's all I got. Bahamas, you will be loved forever. I am in pain. I suppose if you say so. You know what? I'm not gonna think too hard about this. It's just nice to see you again, Bobby. Oh! If you call them Bobby this entire time, I will throw you out this window. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I am hurt. I cannot fucking believe the game devs did that to us. I cannot believe. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nintendo, I fucking hate you. All aboard! We storm Peach's castle in five. I'm not gonna get over that. I will never financially get over that. You two, do whatever you need to do to prepare yourselves. I'm told some... Anti-nausea medicine may be in order. God damn it. Oh, God. Okay, what we need to do is get more life ups. We... Oh, hi! <gasps> is this a, is this a thing for us? Oh, fuck me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let's try that again. Um... <laughs> Give me this. What are we getting? I just... I, my heart is so hurt. <gasps> No, not the fucking cutout soldiers. I hated them. I hated them. They were terrifying. I want to throw that one away. I want to throw it away. We're going to unfucking see that. Especially little shadow children. Little fucking children who came and just tried to destroy us with their papering shittiness. Oh, they were so stressful. Okay, we're going to go get some, um, we're going to get some life ups. Some like life ups. That is the main thing that I care about before we go into like battle. Cause I don't know if like, if it's just gonna be the final battle or if we're gonna be able to do things beforehand. But one thing I really wanna do is because the last one up came in really big handy, cause otherwise we would have died. We're gonna get another life up. Life up, we're gonna get so many gosh diddly damn life ups. And let me, I also want to put in legendary boots. Let's put flashy iron boots, right? Life up Pog. Thank you, life up butt. Thank you, butt spot, for understanding. <laughs> Thank you for understanding that we care so much about the booty. So much about the booty. Ooh, legendary iron boots. Okay, that's pretty fucking nice. Shiny hurl hammer. I have not yet used a sh like a hurl hammer, and we're gonna fucking try it this next time. I'm so excited. All right, where is this? <laughs> like that life up literally saved our lives. I, I don't know if I could have continued if we had died at that very last second. Oh! Hi. I must admit, the speech by that groundskeeper was stirring. I really hate that they're all, like, standing right there, like, staring inside. Like, that's just... That's just a little culty. <laughs> that's just a lot culty, actually. Like, a lot culty. <sighs> that's okay. I don't know how to get over there! I am so angry that I have not been able to get over there and figure out how to, like, do that part. Like, I don't know how to do that part. That's okay, we'll get there eventually. Fuck, yeah, we will get there eventually. Alright, where is, where is our little, like, 
what the word? Warp pipe, warp pipe. I, I couldn't think of the word, I just made the sound. I just want to get the life ups and see if we have any accessories we can buy too. Was it outside here? I can't actually remember, or was it to the right? Oh, it was to the right, it was to the right actually. I remember things in this game. I think, oh thank goodness. Hello? Yes, we want to enter the warp pipe. We're going to go make sure there's no accessories that we need to buy. And we're going to get a whole bunch of life shrooms. We're going to get a whole bunch of life shrooms. Oh, hello, man! Yeah. Oh my god. Hi, whoever that was. I can't see because I don't have the thing anymore, but thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh, hello. That always scares the shit out of me. I love that alert so much, but I feel like I need to adjust the volume like just a little bit because it's so fucking loud. I'm so sorry, Jolene. <laughs> like it is so remarkably loud. <laughs> Hi, how are you, Ryan? Oh, this is the, this Ryan is the Ryan that chose feet. This Ryan chose feet. That Someone asked about that earlier. I can't remember who, but this, this is the Ryan that chose the feet. <laughs> You're all invited to my funeral. I'm so sorry. That was so loud and you did not deserve that. You did not deserve that. Also, hi. How are you, Brian? I hope your day's going really, really well. Okay, hold on. We're going this way. We're going this way. We finally beat the green streamer. I'm so excited. We're about to go to the boss. I, I'm like, not the boss. The final area, I should say. Like, I don't know if it's the boss boss, but we're going to fucking get some one of the shrooms first. And get some gosh dilly damn shrooms. <laughs> Ooh, there's so much. Oh my god. I haven't yet used any of the, um, like, fire flowers or anything, so I actually don't know. I don't know how they work, and I feel like I really need to figure that out before the final boss. This one, too. I'm not really sure what the, what, what the, what the shiny tail does, either, but, like... Yeah, give me the fucking one-up mushroom. Oh, there's only one of them! Are you fucking kidding me? Am I only allowed to have one in my pocket at one, like at the same time? Yeah, I spent more than 3,000 goddamn coins on the life up shroom. <gasps> Thank you. I do love a good discount. I do love a good, oh. I definitely had a regular membership card that we could have gotten a deal on, of, uh, on that mushroom. Okay, hold on. Are there other life streams somewhere? Like, am I only allowed to have one at a time? Cause like, I feel like, I feel like that'd be valid because of, otherwise it might be a little OP. But like, we're gonna go to one more area to see if they have a one-up shroom also. I don't wanna talk to you. I don't wanna talk to you, excuse me. And right, I don't mean to be dramatic, but that alert sent me to the shadow realm. I am so sorry. It is so fucking loud. <laughs> like it's, it's literally the loudest alert that I've got. I'm so sorry. It's so fun. I actually almost made that my um follow alert. Like, it was between that and the why are you following me alert. But I, I just found the why are you following me one to be so much funnier for a follow whenever someone heckin' follows us. And so I- <gasps> Hi! I forgot you were here, Toadsworth! I don't know their actual name, but I forgot you were here, Toadsworth, and I love you. And I forgot that it's so fucking bright in this town now. Excuse me? Excuse me? All right, we're, I just want to see if we've got um, a one-up shroom we can buy over here. Why are they talking about being inside cactuses? You know, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge. Hello? Okay, we are going to... Uh, where the fuck? This way, I think? Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't look at me. Ooh. Yeah, this way. Oopsies, I didn't do that. <laughs> not me, like, repeatedly running into things. I am good at driving. So fucking good at driving. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Okay. Where, where's the shop in here? Hold on. Where the fuck is the shop? <gasps> I, why did we, oh, there's so many of you. I'm so excited we got them. Oh my fucking goodness. Hold on, what's this? What's this? What's this? <gasps> Another coffee shop! Goodbye, yeah, you- I forgot a coin. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's peachy keen. It's fine. <gasps>
Who the fuck is that on the right? Hold on. I, I want to boop their fucking snoot. Hold on, can I boop your snoot? Ah, oh, no one sucks the piranha plant! I am, like, so stressed that piranha plants have feet like that. I don't think I ever really realized that before. I thought they were, like, just, like, a plant in there, right? But, like, the fact that they, like, have leaf feet and they can, like, cross them like that. <laughs> oh! Thank you, whoever did that. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a lot. Thank you for that. Shy, oh my, we're singing, we're the singing cafe. We love to jam, so let's partay. Oh yeah, come on. That scared the piss out of me, it was so good. Woo! <laughs> Not the... <laughs> Hold on, I can contribute. Contributing. <laughs> I just, I can't. I love them. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> I should have guessed. I love the cute little hold them. That is the cutest freaking emote, too. The little, like, cat heart. That is so fucking adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, do you have more access? No, okay, never mind. You don't. That's okay. I love you, anyways. I just oh okay fuck let's 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 leave let's let's leave this town this town ain't big enough for the two of us let's go this way goodbye oh let me get in I can't believe it just made us like jump over that it was like mm, you want in <laughs> fuck you no instead you're gonna just jump over the entire heckin thing I guess rude as shit <laughs> oh fuck I. It's fine, we're not gonna worry about it. Oh, come here, come here! <laughs> um, I think it was this way? Hold on, where the fuck? This way, okay. I'm like, I don't remember where the shit the fucking uh, the little blah 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 is. Like the blah 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 blah. But it's fine, it's fine. It's this way, I think. I wish like there was like an easy little teleportation thingy. I'm glad that we've got these warp pipes everywhere because it does make it- I didn't- hold on! The whole point that we came here was to go to the shop. Was to go to the shop to see if they had any one-up shrooms. And I got too invested in the song that the Shy Guy was doing to even go to the shop. Like, like I just, I'm so sad. Um, I, I don't, my brain, my brain. All right, we need to go to the shop. So right now, we are, uh, so we are gearing up to go to Peach's Castle. Oh, I hope you had a good nap. Hell yeah, I and, love uh, that. You know I who else that. has a weight issue? Me. 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 But once I get up on stage, start doing my thing, people worship me, me because I'm sexy <laughs> and chubby, man. Why do you want to diet? Because I like, I like to, to eat. eat. Is that such a crime? <laughs> How are you doing, Envy? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, so our objective currently is we are gearing up to go to Peach's castle and finally, like, save our universe um, from the origami uh, royalty that has taken over. And so, before we go, we're stocking up on things and we are trying to see if I can find another one-up shroom. Like, we're trying to see if we can find... Oh, I saw a toad. I fucking saw a toad. Hold on. Okay, no, they're not in there. But we're trying to find at least one more one-up shroom because it saved our lives last time. Um, hi, hold on, where are you? Toad, you're in the way. Uh, because it saved our lives last time and we're really desperately trying to get at least one more. At least one more. Ooh, you're running the shop? Yes! Do you have a mushroom? Do you have a what a mushroom? Because otherwise I'm gonna shove you back inside that fucking sign. Actually, I won't, but like, <gasps> Gimme, 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 hi, 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 hi. Hold on. Hold on, before we do that, before we do that. Accessories, accessories, accessories. Let's fucking accessories. Gimme. 
we equip the thing. I can only be here for a few minutes, but wanted to drop in for that time. I appreciate it. That makes me so happy. And it's really good to see you and hear from you. I hope that you're doing well. Yeah, doing okay. Yeah, the whole situation with 1K, uh, yeah, 1K, 1000 Dreams Fun has drained me mentally over the last few days. Yup. I fucking feel that. It has been exhausting. <laughs> it has been exhausting, my friend. And I feel that on a deep level. And yeah, I'm doing well too. Aside from all that going on, which has been very draining, uh, it's been good otherwise. Um, it's been good otherwise. It's just been a whole situation, hasn't it, pal? Oh! <gasps> I didn't think that was actually going to work, but I'm really glad that it did because I want whatever is over here. A power block? Hell yeah, yeah. It's been it's been stressful. It's been it's been a lot, and I am um, I'm really hopeful that a thousand dreams fund will uh, will take into consideration all of the stuff that people have been saying these last couple of days and also a couple of weeks and do better because they do a lot of really good work. Like the the grants that they like the grants that they give away really help a lot of people like truly help so many fucking people and so i'm really hoping <laughs> that even if they just rebrand to woman if that's inclusive of everyone who is under uh, who's comfortable being under um like labeled as a woman and in the woman um umbrella i'm really hopeful that if they just do that and are like it like learn and are like inclusive in their language and actually get people who understand and do all that i'm hoping that it'll be able to gain the trust of folks again but like i, I don't know it's gonna take a spicy second isn't it <laughs> it's gonna take a spicy heckin second for that oh because everything that's happened lately yeah sure it's been a lot but i'm glad that we all spoke out yeah yeah i'm letting it rest for now to put peace at my mind yeah me too it's just it's unfortunate that it happened, especially a week before the giant fundraiser. And so I just, I'm glad that it came out before everyone started fundraising for them, especially with all of the, um, especially with all like the front page stuff everyone was gonna have. So I'm glad it came out beforehand because it would have felt really gross to raise a whole bunch of money on the front page of Twitch. Um, if it, like, if, if all this had happened like directly after, um, it's just also, it's just also like a really shitty situation, you know? Like on one hand, like we wanna make sure to speak out, especially when language isn't being inclusive, um, especially for folks who like, who aren't comfortable in those spaces and they were like generalizing it for when it wasn't a space for us. Um, and so it's really good to speak out about that and make sure that we're like pushing folks to be more inclusive or change the wording if they're not inclusive. So it's not a false hope. But then like on the other hand, it also absolutely sucks cause like, there are actual people who are going to be, like, um, who are going to be harmed from, hold on, there's a thing back here? There, who, there's a lot of people who are going to, like, be harmed in what happened because, like, they might, they, they probably won't get as much money as they usually do each year because of everything that's happened for their grant. And so people are going to be, like, harmed. People who, like didn't have anything to do with everything, right? Oh my gosh, did I actually get over here? I was just hoping. Holy shit, I was just hopeful. More cafes? Oh! And so it's just a really like shitty catch 20 situation, right? Like it's just a, it's just a really shitty situation on both ends. Because if we don't speak out, then it's just nothing's gonna change and it's not actually gonna be an inclusive space. But if we do speak out, then like, people are going to be affected and people who shouldn't be affected are going to be affected. It just kind of sucks. Right. And like, isn't NB gamer the fucking best? Like they, <laughs> like they have a whole bunch of really cute, like, um, um, B emotes and like a fair channel is also really, really cute. It's just a whole bunch of like B stuff and it's so adorable. And Faye has a whole bunch of freaking like cute pride BD emo B emotes too. Oh, so cute. Fucking amazing. Right, right. Yeah, I freaking love Faye Fair. I've been waiting a bit. I've been wanting to try out Faye Fair, but I know cis people would never use it for me. And I've just been, bo it's just been bothersome um, to try to get them to do so. What a fucking mood, my friend. Like, <laughs> Like, I feel like, I feel like I keep he, him pronouns in just for the cis people. <laughs> cause if you're going to like, if you're going to misgender me, cause I, I definitely like prefer they, them and easier over like he, him pronouns. Like, but like if, 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 if cis people are going to misgender me, at least it's going to be in the opposite direction. At least it's not going to be with she, her pronouns. God damn it. <laughs> like, you know, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> and yeah, like pretty much the only people who use Zizier for me are other tr like are other like trans people, <laughs> you know, like our other trans people. Uh, most of the time, like sometimes I get really, really lucky and like have like really good allies and pals who like make sure to like use those pronouns. But like most of the time, it's all it's mainly just like trans people, you know, because we under fuck like we fucking understand and it sucks. Like even whenever um, so back in December of last year, not like the three months ago last year, but like a year and three months ago, like I was still trying to figure myself out. And I was like trying to figure out what pronouns I wanted to go by. And I started using all pronouns. Cause I was like, all right, like I wasn't super comfortable with she, her. Like I always like felt like eh, like, eh about them, but I never had the time and space to like really sit down, figure it out. Nor did I have like the support cause my family is shitty. Um, <laughs> and can't know that I'm trans. Right. Um, and so like on my online presence, I was always just like, all right, like any pronouns, like I don't really care. Like just any of them, like switch them up. You know, I was like rotating ones would be great. That way I get a feel for everything. And literally the only fucking people who would actually use anything other than she, her were trans people, trans and non-binary people and like gender non-conforming folks. Like every single cis person always only use she, her 24 seven. And I was just like, <laughs> like if I, if I say any pronouns, like please, like don't just use she, her. Cause you perceive me as she, her. Like, and even now, like people who did that, like it's, it kind of sucks. Cause even now, like I, I, I used to be in a community. Um, like I used to actually stream and, uh, like I was in a community with a couple of other streamers and like, we had a collective shared space and I ended up like stepping out and backing out from that. And like, like really, really quickly after actually, after a couple of months, because like a couple of them, like this, the streamers who were like really good friends of mine, um, would just continually still misgender me and use she, her pronouns like every single time. I, like even after I changed to like just they, he, um, and now they, z he, like I just kept getting misgendered and it was shitty and it was just like, all right, well, we're going to just like step away from that. And it was just all cis people. Um, cause I was starting out my space. I didn't really know what I was doing. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my space. And I was stressed <laughs> as one is whenever they start streaming. Um, and I feel like as I've been branching out and like making communities with more trans and gender non-conforming and non-binary pals, like I just feel so much more at ease because people actually use the right pronouns, like use the right pronouns for me. And I'm just like, God damn it. Like, I wish I did this earlier. Fuck, <laughs> you know, you know? And yeah, yeah. I have random questions. Yeah. And do you ever, did you ever get on top of that Parthenon? What the hell is a Parthenon, my friend? My, I don't know. I don't know big words. <laughs> and the answer is probably no. Let's be quite honest. The answer is probably no. I probably just said fuck it and like left. <laughs> Which probably is what happened there. Oh my God. And yeah, right. These are the freaking cutest. And I love all the freaking pride heart emotes that they had. Like literally they're so fucking cute. And yeah, it used to be she, they, but literally no one would use she. Yeah. Yup, 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 yup. People tend to see the pronouns and do whichever one that they feel most comfortable with right? Like whatever one that they specifically feel most comfortable with. Like I, I am out, like I, I am very out with my pronouns at work. Like I still, like I use, I, I very like specifically have they, them and he, him. Like I don't have ZZ or listed because no one at that company is going to fucking use them. And there's like no point in me trying to educate them when they can't even like get they and he right. Right. Like they fucking call me she all the time. And, um, this is going to be a rant session. I'm so sorry. I'm here for it. I'm sorry. I'm going to catch up on chat here in a second. Um, but like, I, I use my chosen name, Ollie, in some situations. Like I am in, like I'm the co-lead of the Pride ERG and I'm also the head of like the trans inclusion committee. And in those spaces, like I let them know, like as soon as I figured out my name, I was like, hey, like I'm going by Ollie, like only, like only within this sphere though, like only within this sphere because I wasn't comfortable and I'm not comfortable still telling other people, especially when they can't even get pronouns right. So like, throwing in a new name is going to fuck them up. And it's going to be so ridiculously hard for me to like work there <laughs> when they can't even get pronouns. Right. So how are they going to get my name? Right. And, um, it's really, really funny because like I have found that, okay. So I started at the company using she, her pronouns. Cause I started there about three years ago. Um, like right out of college, wasn't really like sure. Um, like didn't have time to figure things out during college. Right. And so I stuck with she, her, cause I was like, well, I'm already having a fucking crisis in college. <laughs> let's, let's, let's worry about that after. And so I started the company using she, her pronouns and everyone like use she, her pronouns. Great. Like they did all that. But I've like, I've found that as I have moved over to they, he pronouns, 
people tend to use my name in place of my pronouns. Like they, they tend, and which, which is my dead name because they don't know my actual, like they don't know my chosen name, right? Which I, is, is probably, is like worse in my situation because I'd rather them use pronouns, obviously. But it's really, it's, it's really funny like to see how many like people went from using, yeah, she is lovely, like she is working on this to um, like using my name instead of actually using my correct pronouns. And I'm like, I, you didn't do this before? Like it would have made more sense if like they had like used my name, like my legal name beforehand. And when I changed pronouns, continued to use my legal name. But I found that so many people have just been like, mm, we don't like that you've changed your gender identity. Let's just use your name instead of like using the right pronouns. And I'm just like, I don't like like, I don't know if it's just like something I just didn't catch on to until now and like see my name or but like, it's just it's like a really weird situation. And I don't want to like, and I'm too passive to be like, hey, because like, it's only for me. Like, it's it's literally only for me. Like when we're in meetings, they'll use people's pronouns. But then for me, they'll use my name. And I'm like, how hard is it? Like, how, how hard is it to, to just and like it's it's my dead name too and like they don't know it's my dead name because I can't tell them that right like I can't fucking tell them that it's my dead name because it's hard and like they obviously can't even use my pronouns and so I'm like I'm like stuck in this really lovely like not lovely but like you know like funny funny like I'm, I just have to have humor about it like I'm just stuck in this really like funny situation where I'm like I don't know what the fuck to do like I'm just like I don't know what I'm doing like I don't know like what to do about it. <laughs> so we've just been vibing here, right? Does it bother you? Okay, hold on. Here we go. Same. I used to be she, they, but literally no one would use she. And then um, Faith Fair. Okay, look. NB says, does it bother you as well when people refer to non-binary people as they? As example, girls, gays, and theys. Yeah, because I feel like, ugh, like not like, I know that people are intending to be inclusive. Like the intent isn't to be like exclusionary because if they just say girls and gay, like it just feels weird. But like, I know that like the, the quote unquote attempt is for people to be more inclusive, but it just, it, it just feels weird. <laughs> Especially because that's not all encompassing either. And like, it's just also, I love butt sprints. Also, hi Fox. Um, but yeah, it just, it just feels really weird. Like I also, I don't know if it's just me. I'm sorry, I'm like missing so much, but I don't know if it's just me, but I also take a huge like issue when people say like, uh, guys, gals, and in between pals. I see that a lot. Like as in like, as a, like a blanket, like inclusive statement. Like I see, I see a lot of people say guys, gals, and in between pals. And I fucking hate that. <laughs> I don't know if it's just like a me thing or if it's like a broader thing, but like in between always kind of pushes the idea in my brain that it's like still on that binary scale like because it's in between a guy and a gal and like I'm not 50% a girl and 50% a guy like you know like and that's what that wording insinuates to me and I don't know if I'm just being like overly picky about it but I see a lot of people use that and I'm just like I don't know if it's just me but to me that just seems very like huh like just very like putting you in the binary scale again because like as maybe it's because I'm more like a gender than anything where I like want like I feel like I exist outside of the gender binary like I just, I really fucking hate that saying because I'm like, I'm not in between. <laughs> like The whole point for me being non-binary is because I am like, I, I don't want to be seen on that scale. And it's it's just really stressful to me. And I don't know how to like explain that to people because I see it's like some non-binary people use it too. And I'm just like, I don't know how to explain <laughs> that. Like, I don't, I don't know how to like put into words my distaste with it, <laughs> you know, you know? Oh God, yeah. And I love being in Ryan Fox Prince Discord because we're all just a bunch of queers. Honestly, like I, like, I think that is my favorite thing about when I finally like transitioned out of that original like group community that I had with the three other streamers to our own little community because like I curate a very specific space like we are a very inclusive space specifically for trans folks queer folks um people in like the LGBTQIA plus community and people of color as well like as a Chinese person like it's really important to me that I have a space where I can enforce the rules that I want so like no transphobia, not misgendering people, like making sure that we don't use Pepe emotes, making sure we're like working against ableist language and like harmful like rhetoric um, that comes up. And 
<laughs> maybe it was just the people I was in the, in the community with, um, again, because I was just starting out, but like, we didn't have the same values and I was always like the asshole for like enforcing certain things, um, especially because a lot of people in this community, like it, a lot of people in our community are also POC, trans, queer in some way. Um, and it's just, it, it was always a really uncomfortable situation because I would always just hear people getting misgendered all the time. And like, just, it was just, oh, it's just really gross. And so I really love that I've like, that we finally like moved away into a different space and where like, it's, it's a, a space where we can all just be a, a bunch of fucking queer goblins. You know, I just, I feel at home, you know, I just, I feel at home, you know? Oh, and the building with all the coins on top. No, I absolutely did not get there. I just ignored it. <laughs> Because I couldn't fucking figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. But thank you for asking. Yeah, I feel like we need to talk about stuff. You know, like the thing, like I was able to figure myself out in this space because of how many other amazing people were so willing to be open and talk about things and the communities as well. Like I found myself in so many freaking amazing communities where people were just all like always so loving and accepting and so willing to talk about their own experiences and like ping things in the chat. And it really helped me figure myself out, especially as someone who came from a and comes from a home that is not accepting and I, I like and my family can't know about me. Right. And so being able to like curate an online space and be in online spaces that are very accepting and like um, like and want to like speak about this kind of stuff is really, really important to me. It's really important to me. And yeah, when they go to not call, yeah, when they go to calling you by name specifically, right? Like, I just, I don't know why. It makes me so angry, but I'm like too passive to talk about it, <laughs> to them at least. Like, I will rant to my pride ERG and the freaking trans inclusion committee all the time because they understand. But anyone outside of that, I'm just like, fuck it. Like, there's, there's no point at this point. Like, there's no point because they're not going to understand and they're not going to care enough. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure of my identity at the moment, but I've been going by non-binary for a good while and I hate that as well. Like, hello, yeah, they does not equal non-binary, right? Like there are so many other like neo pronouns that people use as well. Like they is not the only non-binary, non-binary thing. And like, I like, it's just, it's really uncomfy when people like do that. Cause I'm like, I know that like the intent is probably to be inclusive and to come off well, but at the same time, it's also like exclusionary as well. So like, it's, it's just, it, it goes to show that language really does matter in like any case, so there's a lot of learning that like everyone really needs to do. Like I'm still fucking learning. Like there's a lot of language that like everyone really needs to learn. Yeah. And amusingly changing my name to a traditionally masculine name meant people suddenly get got much better with my pronouns. Yup. Like they suddenly took it more seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well. Oh, Ryan Fox Prince. How did I not know your name was Ryan? Fuck me. I, the entire time, I was like, whenever Jolene would fucking say, like, Fox Prince, I was like, is it the Fox that I know? I was like, is it a different Fox? I don't know if their name's Ryan. <gasps> Fuck me. I didn't do that. You didn't. You, you didn't see that. I didn't press the wrong button. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I just... It's all... <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. I fucking hate it here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> how did I not? I'm sorry. I'm so behind on chat, but how did I not put two and two together? It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fucking fine. <laughs> And as a fellow non-binary person who uses they, them pronouns, I like when other non-binary people say they's. I think it's uh, funny and cute. And when in spaces with other non-binary people who do use they, them, true, true. I think it also like, I feel like a lot of times for me, it depends on who is saying it. Like if cis people say it, I'm not a fan when like other cis people say it because like, I don't know if they actually fully understand that, you know, because a lot of the times they don't. And a lot of times they're like, they claim they're allies, but they're not really allies, you know? And so I feel like it, it's, it, it's very different <laughs> when a cis person says that kind of stuff um, versus when a non-cis person says that kind of stuff. But maybe that's just like me. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's just me being an asshole, you know? I've been trying to figure myself out lately and I've been trying they, them along with he, him. Hell yeah. It's just been new to me because I've gone along with he, him my uh, all my life because of the family slash town I grew up in. Yeah, but it just doesn't sit right by itself. Yeah. Oh my God. That is like, what a freaking mood. Like, and especially, <laughs> especially as someone who uh, like grew up in very like my mom was very much like, oh, like wear this lovely dress. Like we're going to put your hair in braids, wear some makeup. You know, like she was very like 
on the mark with like, you're a woman, so you're going to do these things, right? Like it's, it feels like it's really difficult to like end up straying away from that. Like, especially if you've been like used to it your entire life and you're like finally like comfortable enough to start like branching out and like safe enough to start like branching out and actually figuring shit out. It's a lot. And I'm very excited for you, no matter what you end up doing. If you want, if you want us to use they, them for you in here, let us know because we are so happy to do that. We are so happy to do that. And like, the thing is, it's a journey. It takes a long time for some folks. It's taken me so fucking long to figure my shit out. Like, I'm like, how old am I? I'm like in the upper 20s. I'm like upper 20s. I don't even know how old I am. I'm, I'm near in 30s. And like, it took me so fucking long to figure this shit out. And like, it's a journey. And like, the thing is, you're going to like go on waves and ebbs, you know, like you might try some things out and really like, mm, I might like, I don't really like that that much. Or like, oh, I really fucking like this and like change things around. And so it is so fucking valid. It's so fucking valid no matter how many times you end up switching your pronouns um, to figure out like what you like best. And we're here to support you. And I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for you. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one who didn't really like in between pals because I just, yeah, like I always just feel like, I always just feel like I'm being a little, like, I don't know, maybe it's because, <laughs> maybe it's because I grew up with a very defensive family and a very argumentative family. I feel like I just don't want to say anything about things, right? But like, I just, I don't know, something just doesn't fully sit right with me for in-between pals and I fucking hate it. <laughs> and I just never know if it's just me or anything, you know? So I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> And oh, yeah, I'm glad you finished your freaking assignment. Hell yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. People are constantly trying to bina yeah, binarify people, uh, specifically on my non-binary people. Excuse me. Oh, my God. My brain could not fucking read that at all. People are constantly trying to binaryfy non-binary people. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's what I really am just like, is that, that's what I just really hate about that like obviously like the non-binary is there for a reason it's not like a third gender like it's just i don't know it's just blah, 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 blah. you know like that's all i got just blah, 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 blah. like that's all i got and yeah thank you for thank you fox prince ryan is fox prince we're here for it we're 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 finally caught up um tofi's brain is finally fucking caught up <laughs> Oh my God. I'm honestly thankful for your and Lilith's community for that. I've never had people to relate to. Yep. And so now that I'm part of them, I'm slowly finding myself. <gasps> I'm so glad. Like that is exactly how I fucking felt a year and a half ago. Like literally exactly how I felt because like, I just never had that, you know? And even though I had like really lovely friends in college who would pro like, who probably, probably would have been like cool with like helping me figure things out. Like I was just too freaking busy worrying about work and surviving and doing college shit and like working. It just, it was a lot. And so like, it takes a, like, it takes a lot of mental effort and like emotional, like effort to really like figure things out. And that's, I think that's the, like, that's the one thing that I've really, really enjoyed about Twitch. There's a lot of, there's a lot of bullshit about Twitch, right? But like the one thing that it's really been really like wonderful for is finding like communities that you could feel safe <laughs> you can feel safe like just being in and also like exploring your identity in because that's super super important um and i'm just really happy that makes me so happy hell yeah hell yeah right and yes it's me i'm so sorry i don't know how i didn't get that ryan fox prince was you we're here I got it. Everything's fine. Uh. <laughs> and yeah, being surrounded by wonderful non cis yeah, and gender knock of boring folks is so you. comforting. Thank you so much for the for the gift sub. Oh my gosh. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy them emotes. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so heckin' much. I appreciate you so heckin' much. All of the um all of the revenue I make on Twitch goes to um like goes to mutual aid fundraisers for POC and also like trans folks um, and non-binary folks. Um and this time around, whenever we get our next payout, we are going to be sending money to Simply Sab, who is absolutely freaking lovely. Um, they're an opera singer and a content creator who is like desperately looking for emergency housing because of a whole like really shitty situation that they're going through right now. Um, and so I'm really, really excited. And I just really appreciate you all. So I just really appreciate you all. Have a lovely food. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> and us in Fox's Discord were talking exactly about that. Like yesterday, yeah, he's told me before that they like gender masculine language when coming from another trans person, not, but not the biggest fan of cis people using that for them. Exactly. And I think the reason, like for me at least, 
the reason is because when it's coming from other trans, non-binary, gender non-conforming, gender expansive folks, I know that they see me as who I am. Like they don't see me as like a man, like, you know, like they understand and see me as I am and them using like a masculine term for me doesn't mean that they see me with only he, him, mask pronouns, you know, that kind of stuff. But when it comes from cis people, that's not always the case, <laughs> you know? Like, that's generally not the case. Like, and it feels more comfortable coming from trans people because of that, because I know that they understand, you know? <laughs> so I feel like that's probably a big reason. That At least that's for me. Like, at least that's the thing for me. Like, I'm the same way where, like, I prefer, like, I highly, highly prefer they, them, and Zizir pronouns over, like, he, him pronouns, though I'm still comfy with them, so I still use them every once in a while. Um, but it's very much a, like, I'd say, like, it's very much, like, the same thing where, like, I'm, I'm okay with being, like, for, from trans and non-binary people, generally, I'm okay with, like, masculine compliments and things like that. But in general, like, from other people, like, from cis people, I prefer to have them specifically use, like, gender neutral, um, like gender neutral, like, like compliments and things like that for me. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's 10 PM is not too late to order food. Get some dominoes, get some dominoes. Oh, dominoes for the both of us. Yes. Dominoes is always fucking open and pizza. I don't know if y'all go to pizza hut either, but pizza hut has these like really nice, like apple things. Do I know what they're fucking called? No, but there are these like really nice, like apple things. It's like little apple pie bites. And they're literally the most delicious goddamn things in the entire universe. And I would sell my fucking soul for an unlimited supply of them. They're so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to say, getting cis folks to use he, him while I'm in a skirt with my tits out is pure gender. Yes. Uh, yes. I fucking love that. I love that so much. Like, whenever, uh, whenever I finally, like, realized that I was a fucking non-binary person... And like straight away from she, her pronouns, like I'm still like, I completely like cut off makeup because like I used it for a very long time to express my womanhood whenever I did identify as a woman, um, especially because a lot of the spaces I was in, like I needed to like look presentable in order to be taken seriously, especially in a lot of like academic fields. Like I just needed to like look feminine in order for professors to take me seriously and listen to what I had to say. And so I always use makeup as like a, oh, look at this. Like, a, I'm this lovely woman who's speaking. I'm speaking and I know what I'm talking about because if I'm makeupless, you're not going to fucking pay attention to me and just speak over me. And like, I, like, I really enjoy doing fun things with makeup. Like, I really want to learn how to do like, like fun eye looks like people do. Like I see on the TikTok all the time, people doing such fun freaking amazing makeup things and like i'm still for myself personally because makeup is no like there's no fucking gender in makeup like anyone can fucking wear makeup but like my brain still has to do work to like disentangle those because i was told i needed to wear makeup as a woman for a really long time right but like eventually eventually i'm gonna learn how to do some really cool eyeball looks i'm gonna learn how to do some cool eyeball looks because i always like really wanted to learn how to do that like rainbow eyeshadow thing that people did like where they just like blended everything else like out and did like a cat eye and like had like a rainbow lid and it looked freaking phenomenal. I want to learn how to do that without people looking at me and being like, ah, that's a woman, <laughs> you know? And I know that's going to happen. Like I'm, if I'm around cis people, but one of these days, one of these heckin' days, right? I still haven't figured out the balance between enjoying fun clothes and makeup yep, and also feeling good gender wise, right? Because so many people like fucking drill into us that like these clothes are specifically for women. These clothes are specifically for men. Same thing with makeup. Like we are told at a very young age over and over again that these things are gendered, which they are not. It's just the genders. It's just like a social construct. All of it's just a social construct. But like it's really, really hard to like a deconstruct that in your mind and like be comfortable with it, especially when society has been telling you literally since like, like birth that you need to be doing these things. And like, these things are specifically gendered. And also knowing that if you do these like quote unquote gendered things that society has kind of pushed on us, you know, that people are going to look at you in a gendered way that you don't fucking want unless you're around other like trans people <laughs> and non-binary people, you know? And so it's a rough balance. And like, I don't know if I'm ever going to fucking figure it out. Like, I, I doubt I'm ever going to fucking figure it out. But like, 
I hope one day we all do. You know, I really freaking hope. And same for me, Ryan. I had a friend around the apartment a few weeks ago. I was shirtless in an underwear and hearing them call me she, her was really nice. I fucking love that. They also said my butt is cute. Oh, yes. I fucking love that. Like the epitome of my gender. Like, okay. I, I'm Chinese. My, most of my family actually lives in Hong Kong and doesn't speak English. Um, and my grandma and grandpa live in like live in the U S and still speak like broken English. Like the only reason they use English is like for the jobs that they have to do. If they have to talk to us because we never learned, um, like Mandarin because my, like my mom specifically like gave us very white names, like middle names, um, and like made sure to like not teach us Chinese because they didn't want us to have an accent because it's a shitty fucking like white centric environment that we live in pals. <laughs> so we never learned any of that. And so like my grandma and grandpa speak like really broken English because of that. Like they don't speak a lot of English. Um, like they speak just enough to like talk to us and like, that's mainly it. Um, and so like, I, I know, I know in my brain that like <laughs> my grandpa doesn't really like understand like masculine versus feminine compliments, like not like fully. Right. And it was really, really the, like the peak epitome of my gender was like, I sent my grandma and grandpa like a picture of me. Cause they were like, Oh, we haven't seen you in like so long. Uh, like let us, let us see who you like, who you are, like what you look like now. And it was like, after I cut my hair and like made it like more masculine. So it was shaved on the sides. Um, and like after I stopped wearing makeup and started finally like coming out and, and my grandpa told me I was handsome. I know it was an accident. It was, it was an accident because he definitely didn't realize it was like a masculine like compliment, right? Because he looked like he, like he speaks very broken English, but I was just like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> like it was, I just like every, every, every time I'm a little sad, I just fucking think of that. And I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And it's just, I don't know. It's really fun. It's like, it's, it's sad, right? Cause I, he doesn't understand, but like, it's also really nice. Cause I'm just like, even though it was an accident, like I'm going to fucking take it as a win. Like it's a big ass W in my brain. <laughs> and I'm glad just not to get this whole thing. I'm so glad. Oh, I am so heckin' glad. I just, I really, I really appreciate that we have a space for this is the thing. Like, I, I cannot tell you how much I freaking appreciate it because it's so helpful. It's so helpful. And I love talking about this stuff. And I know that I don't know everything and a lot of it's personal experience. And I'm still always learning. But I always just really, really enjoy it. And it makes me so happy. And I don't know. I think it's like, I think it's really, really great because it's really, really needed to have these conversations, you know? Mia, thank you all so much, damn. And I really love my parents. They've been really supportive and open to learn. And it's such a privilege. Fuck yes. I am so glad. I am so freaking glad because that makes such a difference. Like having supportive parents, especially like even just in the LGBTQIA plus community, but especially in the trans community. And especially if you're like wanting to transition, which not everyone wants to, and that's perfectly valid. Um, doesn't make you any less trans, but like for folks who specifically want to like get on like hormones and want to like transition, like having a supportive family specifically, but also friends and like, just like being in a supportive community fucking makes a lot of difference because it's already very stressful. <laughs> it's already remarkably stressful. Oh, like I just, oh my God. Especially when like, you've got to go to like health providers and like, especially when you're like looking into all this shit, like people are not the kindest and it's already like a very big emotional thing. But also if you like start hormones, like it's a very big, like physical thing as well. And so it just makes so much, it just makes so much of a difference. I'm so glad my mom is going to get HRT because of menopause. And I was just like, what's my turn, mom? <laughs> I fucking love that so much. Oh my God. Um, I haven't been like vocal about this actually, but I, I made an appointment, um, to, to talk with, um, my, like with, to talk with the new doctor about getting started on like a low dose of testosterone. And our first appointment, like we're doing a video call meeting so like we, we can talk about like do the initial talking thing about what the fuck I want and like how much I want to be on and shit like that. And I'm really excited. Um, and we're doing that sometime like in mid-April or something like that. And it's I'm, I'm really hopeful because I um, thank you, butt spot. Look at you, babe. <laughs> But Spa's just like, I'm going to fucking insert myself into this goddamn conversation if it's the last thing I do. Like, I love it. <laughs> I just, 
I love you, Butt Spot. We fucking love the butt up in here. But like, I'm really, really excited uh, because like, I have struggled to find health providers. Like I've got, I've got a lot of medical issues like that have popped up this last year, like a lot of medical issues that have required me to go to a lot of appointments, a lot of doctors, a lot of different doctors for a whole bunch of different things. Um, and not a single one has ever asked my pronouns and automatically, because I've got a whole bunch of shit with my uterus, like literally like my uterus specifically, like everyone immediately is just like, oh, look at this woman. She's lovely. Like she's got some issues. Like, and I'm just like, oh, uh, and it's like, because like they don't ask that stuff up front, I don't tell them that I'm trans or non-binary because they obviously like, it's not gonna be a safe place and I need medication, otherwise I'm gonna die. And so like, I finally found like, whenever I was searching for like um, gender doctors, gender specialist doctors or whatever the heck they're called around me, like I am so lucky that there was like at least one near me that like asked my pronouns, asked my name, like literally, like I went to a single appointment to get like some sort of like x-rays done or like ultrasound shit done to like look at bullshit. And like, it's the same people that are going to do the, um, like the HRT consultancy next month. And like immediately, like they came off the bat using my name. They came off the bat using my goddamn name. And it, <laughs> I felt really bad because it threw me off. Like I was sitting there in the waiting room and they called Ollie and I was just like, do, 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 like looking around, like what the fuck's happening? And they had to call it like two or three times because I, like they had to call it like two or three times because I didn't realize that they were talking about me. Which is very funny, I think. Which is very funny. It's very sad, but very funny. Because I didn't expect a doctor to fucking, like, use it. Because no one ever has or no one's ever asked. And so it's, I am really hopeful. Because just them asking for all of that. Asking for my gender identity. Asking, like, what pronouns I was comfortable with and what pronouns I used. Um, and my name. Like, all of that just... And plus using all of that, because sometimes like people will ask you for that, but then they won't fucking use it and they'll just use your like legal name and like the pronouns they think you are and like don't even give a shit. But like the fact that they used all that, I'm feeling very excited. And that's a very good thing because like starting tea is a lot. <laughs> I am stressed about it. Um, and so like, I am really hopeful that it's going to be a good consultation, that they're going to actually be really, really nice and really, really helpful. So we're like knocking on all the goddamn wood. And I've got my initial point in to talk about low dose of tea in June. Fuck yes. Uh, and also haven't been super vocal about it, but it's exciting. Fuck yes. Listen, look, high five. We're going to be starting around the same time. We're going to be tea buddies. Ah! love that <laughs> I am really excited about that <laughs> like I I'm more excited about that than I should be <laughs> I'm just really excited about that oh my god I'm like I I will say I'm terrified of needles even though I've got a lot of tattoos so I'm really hoping that we're gonna be able to do the gel kind like I am fucking crossing and braiding my booty hole hairs that we have the option for gel I feel like, I feel like it's common practice now. Like, I feel like I see a lot of people with gel nowadays, but I'm like, I don't know if like it's more expensive or if like my insurance is going to cover it or like what? Yeah. And apparently it's low, like it's easier for low dose. Exactly. Right. So I'm like, I feel like it works out really well. So I'm fucking hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Oh my God. <laughs> and right. Yeah. She's lovely. She got issues. <laughs> right. Like I just, and like the thing is like, it's always really stressful because like, I feel like if I had medical issues that weren't like tied, like literally tied to my uterus, it'd be so much easier to find people to gender me correctly in doctor's offices. But, like I literally have to go to a gynecologist like quite often and like get a lot of like tests done because it's my uterus. And I'm just like, God damn it. I hate this. Like of all the, like of all the medical shit I could have gotten, of course it's going to be my fucking uterus. Of course it's going to be that. But I'm just like, can we just take it out like can we just have a hysterectomy like let me just fucking take that out please <laughs> and it's just so funny like it's it's very ironic it's not funny but it's like it's 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 ironic you know like I can't I can't do anything besides laugh about that <laughs> I knew about that Ryan I've got privileged information <laughs> you ordered some nuggets too fuck yes sweet and sour is the best nuggets sauce sweet and sour from McDonald's is literally the best fucking sweet and sour sauce besides Wendy's Wendy's sweet and sour sauce, they do something different with theirs. Like, I don't know what they add to theirs. But, like, the little, like, flakes in there and that it's, like, clear and translucent. Oh, 
<gasps> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I fucking love Wendy's sweet and sour sauce with um with with McDonald's chicken nuggets. Like the combination is just so good to me. Like so good to me. Oh my god. And I'm also really excited for these Domino's sounding great, but pizza on your zone is kind of sad. I will literally eat an entire pizza on my own. There was one time in college where I had like, it was, it was exams week. It was exams week. And I also worked like 50 to 60 hours a week because RIP needing money and capitalism. But like there was one, there was one finals week where I'm so sorry. I've missed so much of chatting. I will get back to, I promise. There was a finals week where I had like three exams on a Monday after I did like a 12 hour shift at my fucking chicken job. And and the Papa John's near us, the Papa John's like literally like five minute walk down the street was open until 4 a.m. Was open until 4 a.m. Okay. And I had to stay up all night to study. I had to stay up all night to study for my exams. And I, I ended up ordering two pizzas, two like large pizzas, not even just like a small pizza. I ended up ordering two large pizzas and I ate them over the course of like eight hours. Like I literally just like sat in the common room in like a little common room study area and just ate two large pizzas while I fucking cried over three exams and studied. It was awful. It was awful. Have a great night. I appreciate you the hopes. I hope you have a lovely time zone. And I just, I'm glad to know you. I'm so, so heckin' happy to know y'all. You're freaking fantastic. And I appreciate you so much. Uh, but yeah, oh my God. I got pizza on my own tonight at 25. I no longer care. Fuck yeah. See, I'm glad that I'm not alone in that. Because <laughs> I will eat pizza all day, every day. Like I eat so many pizza rolls my fridge is just filled with pizza rolls. Like that is like 90% of my food. Like Tostino's pizza rolls needs to sponsor us in the swamp. Cause like every day I eat pizza rolls. It's so good. It's so good. And yeah, it takes, it takes ages to get used to a new name. Right. Right. Like it just, it really fucking does. And I'm like, eventually I'll get used to it. Cause it's been like 25 years. <laughs> it's been like 25 years being this fucking other name but I'm just like oh eventually it'll happen <laughs> especially in doctor's offices because I'm not used to like I'm I'm not used to being out in public places um you know you know <laughs> and like a few of them know my dead name um I introduced myself by chosen name in uni and everyone's been supportive fuck yes and a few of them know my dead name because of official student list yeah and stuff, but they all have been super nice. I am so freaking excited for you. That is fucking phenomenal. And I'm just really happy for you. That's amazing. And I'm really glad that you have that fucking support. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And apparently, okay, so apparently gel is easier for low dose. That's what I was told by the psychologist I had to see to get referred. Oh, I'm so sorry that you had to get fucking referred to by a psychologist. That is bullshit. Like, I just, I don't know. The same thing is that like this, it's, this is also the same issue I have with like, needing consultancy to get top surgery too because like like i eventually am gonna eat these fucking teats off me like eventually these fucking biddies are gonna be gone but like the idea of having to prove to most likely a cis white doctor or like cis white therapist that i am trans enough and like not like like that i'm trans enough to 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 want to like get these tits off like is just, is really gross to me, especially because at least in America, the people who have the money to get, like to get education to become a therapist, the people who have the ability and the privilege to do that generally tend to be cis white people who come from privilege. And a lot of the times that means that they're not as open and not as kind um, and don't really understand. And I am very big on like, I don't know, like I like if 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 a cis if if, if a therapist is going to tell me no, like eh, at least better be a fucking like uh, like another trans doctor who's gone through the same shit as I have. Like because, you know, because like I just I feel like I'd get so much angrier. If a cis white person was just like, no, you're not trans enough, so you're not going to get them off. But like, granted, I'd still be fucking infuriated if like anyone else told me that. But like, 
I don't know. It just feels really gross to be able to tell people who like, especially as a therapist, as someone who like wouldn't understand um, because there's no lived experience. Like no matter how much you read and study about a thing, you're never going to know as much as someone who has that lived experience. That's, that's my opinion, at least like that's my, maybe that's a spicy opinion, but that's my opinion. Like you're never going to understand as much as someone who has that lived experience because they have like personal ties with it. Like they understand, like they, they understand um, certain scenarios and situations better. And so like, I just, the idea of like someone who has no idea what, like what we're going through can ha like has the authority to tell, you no. Know, just it just seems really gross to me it just seems really fucking gross to me sweet and sour and ranch fuck yeah oh my god please fox please i would love if we would message each other ah! oh my god that scared the shit out of me <laughs> Cody. hello wipe that ass mm. oh my god <laughs> Hi! How are you doing? Oh my god, Cody, and also freaking Dom. How are y'all doing? For folks who don't know me. Hello, I am Tofi. 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 I'm a, I'm a non-binary Chinese uh, variety streamer who loves Shrek, Rick Astley, and definitely not fucking feet. <laughs> and definitely not gosh diddly damn feet. How are y'all doing? How was stream? How was Tales of Arise? How was Tales of Arise? Did you get far? I'm very excited for you. Thank you for trusting me with your lovely hacking community. We were talking about gender and my disdain for cis white therapists telling you you can't get top surgery. <laughs> and also talking about tea. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back in. I hope you're doing well. How, how the heck are y'all? Also, hi, Grey Bet Games. How are you doing? Like, insert raid message here. We got it. We got it. The raid message was, uh, Cody, Cody raid. <laughs> Cody raid. Ooh. And Toby, can we talk about me having your raid song stuck in my head at 3 a.m.? Fuck. Yes, I am so glad. I am so glad because we could not have a Shrek themed swamp without fucking like without um without without the Welcome to Duloc song. Like that literally couldn't have happened. Yeah, I I haven't started looking into Top yet. Well, actually, I have. I have looked into Top, but like I was just expressing my 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 stress over like if a cis like if, if a cis therapist like if i because you've got to go and get fucking like letters to like allow you to do it and shit and i was just like i was just saying that i would have i would feel a way i would feel a very bad way if if a cis doctor said no to that like oh my god oh, hello there. thank you for the l ho hello there thank you thank you i was just expressing my disdain over that because i very much feel like someone who is cis should not be able to tell you no over something that they don't understand <laughs> oh that was like that was the tldr <laughs> thank you i'm so sorry i'm so sorry oh god I feel like I miss so much. Yeah. Is there a place to find LGBTQIA plus friendly doctors? Because I've always felt awkward going to a normal doctor's office. What a fucking mood. Oh my God. What a freaking mood. Yeah. I don't really know if there are any, um, I don't know if there's actually like any like physical websites for it. I think there might be though. I can look into that more. I know that there's one for like therapists that I saw a while back. And I think I've got that linked in the discord somewhere, but, um, a lot of the times when I start looking into those, I try to like, I, I go to Reddit a lot of the times and like start poking around Reddit threads and seeing if um, specifically in like the trans community to see if like anyone has asked about it before. Um, because I found that Reddit is like a pretty actually, like actually a pretty decent like place for people to talk about their experiences anonymously if there's a thread on it about healthcare doctors um, in your area. Especially because not everyone is super welcoming and super kind, which is why I don't tend to tell like doctors unless they like specifically ask. <laughs> and even then probably not as much either. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I would suggest Reddit and I'll actually poke around to see because I wonder if like, because I know the Trevor Project does a lot of really good um, LGBTQIA plus shit. I wonder if they might have one on there too. That might be, that might be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to prepare my stream for this energy, but I couldn't listen. Ryan wanted the feet, so we gave them the feet. <laughs> Listen, like, the only thing that would make this better 
Like I said this before, but like the only thing that would make it better if I could like wiggle the toes, if I could just like do, 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 wiggle the toes, just blah, 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 blah. like how cute would that be? One of these days, goddamn, one of these days. <laughs> and thank you. I might, I might reach out to you about that kind of stuff. I have been like, I have been Googling it and trying to figure it all out because um, I'm going to be starting. Hopefully I've got a consultancy with, uh, with someone about HRT to start tea. Um, next month, which we were talking about too, which is very exciting and hopefully, hopefully going to be easy to get on and hopefully the gel kind because I fucking hate needles. Uh, but like, I have been like looking into top surgery more because I know I want to eat these fucking things off my chest. Like I have been wanting to eat these fuckers off my chest for a long ass time. And <laughs> I'm like, I really, I really just want them gone. Oh. But I know that it's like, it's, it, I know that there's a lot of like aftercare and before care that you've got to do and like I got to figure out like I have to, like I think my I think my insurance covers it question mark maybe I got to figure all that stuff out too but like just like looking into all this stuff is so fucking stressful like it's literally so gosh daily damn stress I'm sitting here like poking my boobs now um <laughs> it's always so stressful and so I appreciate when people are super open and kind about it like that's what I've really really enjoyed about like TikTok too. I'm definitely obviously on trans TikTok. Um, and so many like trans men are like so open and especially like non-binary folks who've like yeeted their teats also. Like they are all so freaking kind about like sharing things and like sharing their experiences and everything like that, which is really, really kind and like really, really lovely too, because as someone who didn't grow up going to doctors, like because we were very poor, um, as someone who didn't really go to doctors and doesn't really like have any like experiences with like procedures like at all it's terrifying to like like to think about like even like any like small procedures like it's, it's a little stressful it's like it's very like anxiety inducing to think about <laughs> you know you know and so I appreciate it uh and I've used reddit so much to find top surgeons yeah and see results and stuff yeah yeah because like you got to make sure like because because like you want to make sure like the stitching is is okay too I've heard like there's a lot that goes into it yeah. And the therapist I did informed consent. Oh, therapist I found did informed consent. So like she just met with me twice and we chatted about gender and stuff. And then she wrote me as many letters as it took. Fuck yeah. I love that for you. That is freaking phenomenal. And that's how it should be. Cause like I have heard fucking horror stories, horror stories about my friends fucking go into a couple of my pals who live like outside the the US. So maybe that's why like who've gone to like people like to get like to start tea and to like start like looking into like top surgery because they've known for a really, really long time and just like haven't had like the medical ability to do it before then. And like so many people like I've heard so many people have like turned them down and been like, no, you're not like trans enough for this. Like you got to do a little more soul searching. Like maybe you do still want to be a woman, you know, and it's just very stressful to think about that kind of stuff happening. <laughs> And so, like, I feel like I'm more anxious because of that, because I know people who have been denied for not being trans enough, you know, which is fucking shitty, which is so shitty. And Reddit was my main source, 100% my main source for top stuff before and during. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Reddit is how I found my surgeon and she was amazing and deaf not talked off. Oh, off of Reddit. I'm so glad to hear that. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have to do that too then. I'm gonna have to freaking do that too. See, okay, so Reddit confirmed, check mark. Reddit heckin' confirmed, damn. And yeah, I'm really excited. Like, I have been wanting to start like a low dose of tea for, for a while now. <laughs> like, I don't want like major changes, but like at least like I would love, like my voice is pretty high. You know, like it's not like the highest thing in the universe, but like my like, my voice is like comfortable and like this range. And I know that a lot of cis people fucking hear that and go, oh my God, woman, look at her, you know, and I just want a little bit lower of a voice. I just want a lower voice <laughs> among a couple other things, but you know, what a mood. Yeah. Yeah. For real, please. I know. I, uh, Friend. Oh my God, my brain could not read that. For real, please do, friend. I know so much from my own research and from my own experience with tea and top, and I want to help. I appreciate you. Yeah, because it's all kind of a nightmare, right? It's all just a lot of stress. <laughs> it's all a lot of stress, like both emotionally and physically. And so I really appreciate it a lot. And I might, I might take you up, probably will take you up on that offer, right? Because I just want to fucking eat the teats, right? Mood, right? Like, I just want to fucking eat these goddamn teats. I don't want them anymore. I haven't wanted them in many years many years. <laughs> and right, always happy to chat slash vent about this stuff. I'm also in the ah uh, consult stage. Fuck yeah, right? Like, <laughs> 
right. And I also like, I don't love that we're all like that you're in the same stage, but like also it's nice to know that I'm not alone. So we can like share and like think about this and like support each other. So hell yeah. And no dude, it's like the recovery isn't that bad as far as surgery goes. Okay. That's really good. That's really good to know. You're mostly recovered after two to three weeks. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That makes me feel a lot better because like, again, as someone who doesn't know doctor stuff at all, it's always like really stressful to think about like recovery after procedures. So that makes me feel a lot better that it's not like horribly bad. Like less than a month is not that bad. Like it's not that bad at all. And I just, I know how annoying trans people trading parts jokes are, right? But I wish it was possible to swap bodies and body parts. Right? Like how much easier? Like I know, I know like it's not possible. Like it would be so nice. Could you imagine just like a little, little, little click of your hands and these teats go to your... Like, this teats go to you? God damn what I would give for that kind of wizardry. For that kind of sorcery. That would be so freaking nice. God damn it. <laughs> and the consult stage is honestly the worst part. Everything after surgery is so much better. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, my God. And I wonder what Automod caught this time. I think it caught trans. Which I don't know why Automod is, like, so funny awful like it caught lesbian earlier caught horny which i guess is valid but it caught trans i just i just need to turn it off like if it's gonna keep catching lgbtqia plus terms like i'm not gonna fucking i i, I don't want to deal with it i don't want to deal with it oh my god and i thought i had found a doctor then realized i couldn't use them for other reasons oh and now i'm starting searching all over again i'm so fucking sorry that is gross and awful and please yeah exactly if you please if you ever want to fucking vent my DMs are open, my fam. My, my DMs are open because I fucking hate that. <laughs> and that's awful and it makes me so angry. Oh God. And you're on Lodos too? Fuck yeah. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Like I have been like trying to figure out like what kind, like I feel like, like cause you know, like I don't want to be like seen as a full fledged like man, right? Because I still very much identify with non-binary and like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to be seen as a, like, I just want to be a fucking raccoon. I don't want to be seen as a gender. I don't want to be seen as a gender. I want people to look at me and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just want them to be like, ah, <laughs> like, that's all I want. Damn it. <laughs> Enjoy your fucking nuggets, my friend. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you. Oh. And my voice dropped an octave in three months. Oh, that's fucking phenomenal. It was wild. He is wild. That's amazing. I fucking love that. See, like that is that is the main source of dysphoria for me, besides these fucking titties. Like, <laughs> besides these fucking titties. Like, my voice is definitely, like, my, the most dysphoric part of me, besides these goddamn teats. Especially because, like, people perceive high voices as women, and it's really hard. It's really hard to get past that. Because oh, it, it gets you misgendered a lot more, and I'd rather be fucking gendered as he, him by cis people if they're going to hear my voice and think one way or the other. Like, I'd rather be in the opposite direction. <laughs> I'd rather be in the opposite direction. Um, and so, yeah, I'm hopeful that it, like, I'm hopeful that it drops like that, too, because that's what I want. Like, that's the main thing I fucking want, damn it. And the minute I allowed myself to say I wanted to go on tea, I also realized, yeah, how much my voice made me uncomfortable, right? Because beforehand, I was also just kind of like, yeah, like, it's fine, it's fine, like, it's high, but it's fine. But then, like, after I did a little bit of digging and a little bit of, like, thinking about it, I was like, well, fuck me. <laughs> like, well, damn it. I guess I hate this. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> And I just, it's so fucking funny. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that happened to me too. The second you realize you can change something. Yeah. It's like, let me change this now. Right? Like, I feel like we all get so like used to the bodies that we're in that we're like, you know, I've been living like this for X amount of years now. Like I can continue living like this, I guess. Like, even though it's like not what you really want, like you want something different, but it's just like the familiarity of being in this body because you've been in it for like a really long time. Right. And so I think it's like the familiarity for me personally, but like, God damn it. Do I want to change? <laughs> and yeah, I realized I definitely want to top and realized I couldn't for a while. And I'm just like, Oh yeah, please let these titties be gone. Right. And like, the thing is like, I have tried a lot of binders, um, and they just don't work for me. Like I have broad fucking shoulders. I don't know why, but my goddamn shoulders are broad. And so binders don't work for me because like they're always too tight and I feel like I'm suffocating. 
Um, and so like, I can't use binders because of that reason. So like, I have no way to fucking flatten these tits. Like there's literally no way for me to do it, except if I like tried trans tape, but like, it just, uh, like a trans tape is a lot of effort. I'd much rather just have like a single thing to pull over my head and call it good until I can get top surgery. And it's just like a whole fun thing, like quote unquote fun thing, um, of being like, well, I can't really do anything about this. So we're just going to wear a bunch of baggy clothes and hope that I don't pay attention to these fucking titties until I can get them off my fucking body. <laughs> and still not sure what type of top, and I've got time to think, yeah, right, right, oh God. And yeah, it flagged lesbian. Automod has literally been the worst. Shiny Pen, he does um, trans talks on Sundays. Fucking lovely human, by the way. He does trans talks on Sundays, and I cannot tell you how many fucking things I've got to accept because Automod flags a whole bunch of words because he does trans talks and talks about the LGBTQIA plus community as a whole, like every Sunday. And I'm just like, God damn it, Automod. Like it's why it, like, and I, like, obviously I know that people use like LGBTQIA plus terms in shitty ways if people are crappy, but like people do that with like any kind of word. So I don't know why Automod has decided that our terminology is like, mm, no, <laughs> you want to talk about lesbians? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? There's only straights here. There's only straights here. <laughs> oh my God. I just, yeah, it's just being the fucking worst. I hate it here. And Cody, you posted the other day and yeah, the o OMG, the tea chain just looks so good. Oh my God. Listen, Cody looks fucking amazing. Listen, if y'all don't follow her, <laughs> listen, do it. you sometimes get really good photos of her. And by really good photos, I mean really good photos. And by and by like and by sometime, it's all the time. It's all the time. She's real good. She's real great. <laughs> and yeah, not wanting to be seen as a man, right? Not wanting to be seen as a man is definitely a huge struggle for me with my gender and going on teen stuff. So I feel that hard. Yup, yup. It's a fine line. So I'm just like, I like it's it's a really difficult situation. Cause I'm just like, I like if cis people are gonna immediately peg me as like either a man or a woman, it's like, it's not gonna be a woman for me because I am so uncomfortable being lumped into like women's spaces. Like I fucking hate it. And I'd much prefer, even though I don't also, I also don't feel comfortable in men's spaces because I definitely very much identify with non-binary and being agender. But like if, if cis people are gonna get it fucking wrong, at least let it be in the opposite direction. At least let it be as a man. <laughs> So I'm really hoping to balance the fine line, which is why I'm hoping that like a low dose of tea will like help me and like do what I want it to do. You know, you know, what a fun thing we all have to go through. Damn. <laughs> and I'm going to send you like a video of how different my voice sounds now in the disc. Oh my God, please. Cause it's wild how much it changes. Please. I would fucking love that. Like I have definitely seen like I I really love seeing people's um like tea changes on TikTok too because I definitely follow a lot of like trans creators obviously like <laughs> look at me I, I follow a lot of trans creators and like a lot like I've seen quite a few people post like um like weekly or like by bi-monthly every every two weeks or whatever like post like this is my voice x days or x weeks or x months on tea and like mush them all together so you can like hear the difference and it makes me so happy like it gives me such fucking serotonin because I definitely hear a lot of people that are in my voice range who like are now like a little like lower like just naturally just like naturally like down here or something and I'm just like god damn it I want that like oh I fucking want that please give me give me give me <laughs> like that's what I want <laughs> so I really love hearing like the transition videos that people do and like seeing them too, like physically seeing their appearance change just gives me so much hope. <laughs> just gives me so much gosh diddly damn hope, you know, you know? And so please, if you're comfortable with it, I'd fucking love to see and hear that. Oh my God. And my main thing is, uh, my main thing that I hate about my body. Yeah. Our body hair and how rough my skin is. Oh my God. Yeah. I want to be smooth and soft. Why? Right. And like laser hair surgery is fucking ridiculously expensive ridiculously expensive if you want to like actually like go through and get your entire body done like it is fucking it's a lot and it's painful and like it's it's a lot of work it's a lot of time it's a lot of money and it's just like the most ridiculous thing and it's like it's such a hard thing to get like insurance to pay for too right like because a lot of folks like see that as a cosmetic quote-unquote cosmetic surgery and it's really not like it's it's fucking needed <laughs> like it's needed and it's just so frustrating um, because like, it's, it's a lot, 
it's a lot to get. You know, it's a lot to get and it's just, oh, it's so fucking difficult. It's so freaking difficult. And yeah, Cody, the voice difference from one of our Stardew sessions, the last one was wild. Super cool. I fucking love that. I fucking love that. That's really great. Oh my gosh. And moisturizer bath so you can get that sweet, sweet E, right? Like just soak your fucking legs in like cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. <laughs> And I thank you. I really try. I, I, I didn't. It was a hundred percent the juice. <laughs> no, the, the juice. Capri Sun juice. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> I have a thirty-two G chest. Thank you, hop, lovely hoppy. I hope you have a lovely lurk. And I have a thirty-two GG chest. Oh God, binders just give me smaller boobs. <gasps> I just can't even imagine. Like I have been blessed with already decently small titties. I have been like blessed with already decently small. I think I'm like a C or some shit like that, which is not bad, which is not bad, especially because like if like I was OK, if I if I could actually wear binders, it would be pretty good. Like, I feel like my chest is small enough to where like binders would like look pretty flat. But alas, alas, life decided to say no, no, you're going to suffocate instead, man which is rude as shit, which is rude as shit of it. <laughs> and I really don't care about boobs, honestly. Probably would be cool to have them, but not particularly necessary. Yeah, exactly. And that's fucking amazing too. Like everyone has different, um, like everyone has different things that they want and they want to have. And that's fucking amazing. And I love that. Hell yeah. Right. I wasn't quite there, Fox, but I had 32 triple D and binders didn't quite make them disappear. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I feel like that'd be so fucking stressful. Gosh, diddly damn. And also my hips and butt and stuff are actually quite large compared to most AMAB people, which I love. That's great. Yeah. Like I definitely, I definitely have some goddamn hips. <laughs> and so it's really hard. Like it's really easy for me to find tops because I'm fucking blessed with these small goddamn teats. Like it's really easy for me to find tops that give me euphoria but I can never find pants that give me euphoria because like, I just, I've got curves. I've got, I fucking got, like, I've got hips, hips, God damn it. And so like, that is also something that I really want to get rid of because like, I just, you know, like I just, I can find shirts really well. Like I can find like button ups and polos really well. But like, other than that, like my pants, nope, nope. Which is why I tend to like, which I feel like is why I've started wearing, um, like drop caught like drop crotch pants more because they're very baggy and you can't tell any sort of figure under them like you can't tell like any sort of figure on them <laughs> and yeah hair and skin are the biggest sources of dysphoria for me yeah yeah and i'm just here to thirst trap for people it's my duty yeah thank you and like thank you god blessed we are blessed to know you damn it <laughs> Oh God. Yeah. You kind of learn to lay your clothes on. Yep. Um, learn to layer or get close to sit even with a binder. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, Oh, I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. And right. I hate being in men only spaces, but I also feel like such an outlier in women only spaces. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the times it's because they're fucking transphobic and just don't want to say it. <laughs> and I saw someone singing a duet with their pre T self. Oh my God. That is such a cute idea. Hold on. Oh my God. What? Okay. That's really fucking cute. And I might take that idea. I might do that. <laughs> what the fuck would I sing? I don't know. God damn it. But how fucking cool is that? I really love that. Especially if that's like a, such a, like such a fun way to like, like to see the differences and especially like because I am not good at singing but I like singing like I feel like that'd be so much fun in such a fun way oh my god my goddamn heart and soul and yeah my TikTok for you page is queer disabled and BIPOC yep literally that I uh, yep <laughs> and neurodivergent talk that's what I got <laughs> I'm also on ASL talk also it's actually really fun like I I'm learning a whole bunch of like sign language words and stuff which is very very cool and I've really enjoyed it <laughs> yes I thought about doing like transition vids regularly, but then decided to let it kind of happen instead of being a process that I kept track of. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like um, something like I want to make sure that I don't do, even though I want to kind of like not track my progress, but I feel like it'd be very euphoric for me to like see the changes and like hear the changes. Like 
something I want to make sure that I don't do is like make it a chore because then I feel like I'm going to resent it and like be like, oh, I've got time to do my thing on, like time to get the video, like, you know? And so like, I feel like as it happens, it happens whenever I have the spoons to, to like get a little video or a picture or recording or something, then that's cool. But I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to make it an everyday thing, an every week thing, because I just, I want to make sure that I don't make it a chore and make it something that I have negative like connotations with, you know, especially for something that's going to be so like euphoric and like helpful to me and my brain. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, it's really fucking hard to get that, right? Like, it's really hard to get, like, any kind of laser hair surgery. Oh, my God, it's fucking ridiculous. And yeah, I've liked tea mostly for the past year, but the amount of body hair and acne and shit it gives me is not it. Good to know. We're gonna, we're gonna get some good fucking acne shit then. <laughs> and invest in good razors. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hear you get, I hear you get a lot of booty hairs. Like that's like the main thing that I've seen on trans talk is like, you just get a lot of butt hair. Is that, is that, is that, you don't have to answer that. I, I know it happens, but like, <laughs> I just, and did she get so much? Sorry, sorry. I just, I just, <laughs> that is the one thing that's going to be very fun. Like, that's going to be the one thing that'll be very fun. <laughs> Thank you for confirming, even on, like, low dose of tea. Thank you for confirming. Oh! <laughs> I just start buying wet wipes. Okay, but wet wipes are really nice, though. Like, that way you don't have a dry-ass piece of paper just, like, like, wiping that up. Like, I feel like with wet wipes, you probably get less rashes, especially if you have, like, diarrhea and stuff and, like, you're, like, pooping a lot. Like, I feel like that's nice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is a lot. It is a lot. If you don't clean your ass as well, you as well. Oh, you'll smell like booty. Oh my god. Okay, good to know. I don't know what cis het men are doing, but fucking hell, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thanks to captions. Hold on. I've, I've missed so much. Oh my god. Um, I just want T to get rid of my hips. God damn it. Thanks to caption. My eyes and ears are now captured with this conversation. I, I'm so sorry. Like you popped a lurk. You were like, I'm gonna go fucking lurk. And then you didn't because of us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I used to look androgynous, um, but then mental health meds kind of changed my body proportions and I really miss it. Oh, I'm so sorry, friend. I hope that it hasn't been like too awfully jarring or anything, you know, because that can be hella stressful. Like that can be really fucking stressful. And I don't know what I do in that situation either. Damn. And I can finally wear men's pants. It's a whole new world. Fuck yeah. Because I have an ass and T has slimmed it down something fierce. Yes. That makes me so happy. Because like, I don't know, like, your your visual image to yourself, especially if you like want to look a certain way, like matters a lot, like matters a lot, a lot. And so I'm really, really glad that, that that's been your experience. That makes me so fucking happy. Oh my God. I have one binder and currently thinking over and over on getting a reduction because <laughs> dick bitties suck, right? Right? What a fucking mood. Gosh diddly damn. Right? And hormones are absolutely gosh damn wild. Right? Right? <laughs> and how are you doing, by the way? This combo attracted the crap out of me. Fuck yeah. I'm really glad we... We've been on this same screen for like an hour and a half and I'm fine with it. Like it makes me so happy that like everyone is so like happy and comfortable and so willing to talk about this stuff because that's like what I want this channel to be. Like we can have chaos and it'll have a lot of fun and scream our fucking asses off, but also have really fun, like important conversations. And I just appreciate y'all so fucking much. And hi, Starch Monger. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well though. I'm tired and work's been busy, but other than that, I'm doing fucking great. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, and I'm glad that you're here, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, neurodivergent talk, right? Like, I am on fucking neurodivergent talk. God diddly damn. <laughs> Height, you wish. Ass hair, so much. I fucking love that. I fucking love that. Also, hi, Ace. This is a red shirt. I, yeah. This is red. I am in pain. Oh! <laughs> I don't know who did that because I turned the alerts off. But you fucking got me. You got me. Hi, thank you for that. <laughs> Queer Avengers wear pink on Tuesdays. Actually, it's on Wednesdays. Actually, it's on Wednesdays. Get it right. You can't sit with us. <clears throat> yeah, it's Heather Red. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. Oh God, as an AMAP person, yeah, I'm extremely grossed out by cis men. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? I just, I don't understand cis men. Oh, God. And probably, like, straight cis men, too, because my roommate is lovely, and he's a, he's a fucking gay man. <laughs> I mentioned to my cis guy friends about ass hair, and they started giving me tips. Oh, okay. Apparently, shower after your morning coffee does its thing as the plank got you. Very good to know because I have coffee every single morning and I usually take showers at night. So I will make it a point to have a lot of wet wipes. <laughs> I will make it a point. I'm like really hopeful. Okay, listen, I am Asian also. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I'm, I'm Asian. I'm Chinese. Um, I don't know if I say that enough on this stream. Like I'm Chinese. I don't know if I say that enough, but like, I don't have a lot of body hair. I don't know if like, I feel like it might be a Chinese trait. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I just got lucky with genetics, but like, I'm Chinese and Italian. Why and so like, thank you for the follow. Welcome the heck in. Uh, so like, I'm hopeful that like, I won't have too much ass hair, but I'm like, I'm a little concerned that because I don't have a lot of body hair currently, because I'm guessing my Asian genes, I'm a little afraid that my Italian genes are gonna fucking kick it up a notch for ass hair. Like, I feel like it's just gonna go all out and we're gonna have real fucking thick ass hair. And, like, the thing about me, like, braiding my booty hair might become a thing. And I'm a little concerned. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, I am a little concerned about it. But it's fine. We're not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. <laughs> also, hi, Ace and Shiny. How are y'all doing? I just... I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I just... Uh, oh, God. I shower twice a day, but I love showers in general. Nice, nice. Right? We fucking love this positive gender talk. Yeah. Like, I... Because of my curly hair, I tend to shower every other day because, like, I want to make sure that, like, the products I fucking use don't get washed out the day after because they're goddamn expensive and you shouldn't actually wash curly hair every day. But, like, I'm going to have to get used to, like, just putting it in a bonnet and fucking sit in the shower and, like, showering without actually washing my hair. Like, I feel like that's going to be a thing I've got to do. Like, I feel like that's going to be a thing I've got to do because of my ass hair now. <laughs> And this is a bit gross, but cis men don't wipe the tips of their, yeah, their penises after peeing, right? They just wiggle it around. Yeah, listen, like, you, okay. And they just wiggle it like they do whenever they, like, fucking, like, get gas and, like, wiggle it in the gas tank. And they're like, eh, good enough. And just shove the thing back in. Yeah. Yeah, friend. Oh, my God. Right. Right. <laughs> it just, it just, I feel that. Oh, and I'm just like, how? Like, and then you expect me to put it in my mouth? Like, and then you expect me to suck on it? <laughs> That's a little much. I'm sorry. I take that back. I'm just fine. Yeah, thank you for the scream. I appreciate y'all. <clears throat> Lear I love learning more about it all. I'm glad. I'm so, I'm so I'm so glad. I'm so glad. We're, we're trying. I'm slowly learning shit, too. I'm slowly learning shit. Right? Thank you. It's a red shirt. It's a red shirt. It's not off red. It is red. I don't even know if I have pink. Shirts. What I can do, what if I, because I've got a pink Squishmallow, what if I hollowed them out and wore them as a shirt? Would that be okay? Would that, would that work as a pink shirt? I feel like that'd be quite fun. We could do that. We could do that. That'd be a pink shirt. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that shove them back over there. We're going to shove our moogly bullshit out of there. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully Hoppy. I hope all y'all are doing well too. Hi Chinese. I'm mom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like I had no, oh, okay. I had no body hair before tea and now, okay. Sounds good. So sounds like I'm not going to escape the hair in any location. So going to invest in good shaving razors. Going to invest and go shave the razors, <laughs> which is very fucking hey, funny. Minute, great idea. I'll stick with you. Oh, thank you so much for the heckin' gift sub. I appreciate you so much, hopefully, hey, Hoppy. Minute, great idea. I'll stick with you. Thank you so much for the, for the other gift sub. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I hope that y'all enjoy the heckin' emotes. We got some pride emotes and a Shrek emote. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Oh my goodness. And yeah, right? Shout out to Asian lack of hair, right? Like, it's been really nice. Like, I don't have to fucking shave ever. I don't have to shave ever, which is so nice because I am lazy and don't want to goddamn shave. But then also, like, hair tickles me. Like, it tickles me. Oh, my God. You will. You will have ass hair. No one. No one can escape the ass hair. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've got, I, I, I got something better. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Which one is it? Which one is it? 
No one will escape the ass hair! Ah! There you go. I'm so sorry if that was loud. You you don't you don't you don't need that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> right, your stream won't be the only swamp. Listen, if if my butt hair turns into a swamp because of how shittily I clean it, I will cry. Could you imagine? Like we got we, we got a couple of swimmers in there. <laughs> we got a couple of swimmers. <laughs> Ugh, no. <laughs> I hate it. Right? Pray the Italian doesn't show itself because I'm Italian. And oh, Lord, Ryan. Good to know, Ryan. I, th I feel like it will. I feel like it will. Like, my, my, my hair is definitely Italian. I'm not going to lie. Like, my, the hair on my head is Italian because, like, look how fucking curly and thick it is. So, like, head hair, butt hair. Like, I feel like it's going to be, like, it's, 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 it's. It's, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Ooh. I'm scared if someone has an answer to this, but why is ass hair even a thing? Because Jesus hates us. Oh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. That was rude. Uh, <laughs> because they like to punish us, okay? They like to punish us and it's awful. Uh, oh. I'm using a bonnet with curly hair after getting it wet. I was astonished with the outcome. Yeah, like it's amazing how, um, how much silk like pillowcases and bed sheets and stuff help too. Like it just, it reduces the frizz so freaking much. And it's like amazing. It's freaking amazing to see. And I wash my hair every day um, because the way my curls look in the morning, if, yeah, is not it. If I need to, if I need my gel to keep things under control. Yeah. Okay. Oh God. Good to know. We're probably going to start showering every single day too then. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do not suck an unwashed dick. It's a bad time. There we go. That's, that's, that's the quote of the year. The first time I blew a guy, it smelled so bad. I'm so sorry. Oh God. I am in pain. Do all of us just have like real bad fucking stories about cis men? I'm so sorry. That sounds so mean, but like, do all of us just have bad stories about cis men because of how unhygienic they are? Like how unhygienic they are? Okay, but listen, Ace wants us to wear a pink shirt. I know I'm so behind. Ace wants us to match with pink shirts. I don't have pink. Most of my stuff is like, this is like the only color for sh colorful shirt I have besides my non-binary rat shirt. All my stuff is black, black or some shade of gray. And my Squishmallow is pink. So like technically if I hollowed them out and put their meat suit on me, I would have a pink shirt. I feel like it would be very fun. I feel like it wouldn't be that bad. And I feel like it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> it sounds so bad. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, God. And I've never shaved before now, but I'll be shaving my face twice a week. T does her job. Okay, fuck yes. I'm so glad. Like, I don't like, I've always been like curious to see like what I'd look like with like with facial hair, you know, because like I've tried like those TikTok filters and I feel like I, they just, they just like never like look good like or like realistic enough on my face because a lot of them, like, I don't know. It just, don't, it just doesn't look right on my face, but I'm like, I'm curious, like if I start growing like facial hair, like is it actually gonna look decent? Like my, like will I keep it? I don't fucking know, we'll see, we'll heck and see. <laughs> we'll fucking see, damn it. And right, that's exactly the tone I said that in. Thank you, that's what I thought. I assumed, I assumed that's how it was. <laughs> And as a vastly mixed Latin person, it's just so much hair. It's hair everywhere. Oh my God. Yeah. And it's like, it's like a fun little blessing and a curse. Cause I'm just like, I fucking love how like lovely and like lush and curly this is. But I'm also very stressed now. <laughs> I'm very stressed now. Oh my God. <laughs> And I just got extra monies. Now I know what I'm getting for my bed. Silk sheets. Oh, hopefully, Hoppy. Silk sheets changed my gosh dilly damn life with curly hair. Changed my life. Because like on like on sheets that aren't silk, like the silk is like smooth, right? This is going to be science toffee. Silk is smooth. Other ones not smooth. When you lay your head, when you lay your head and hair on smooth sheet, your hair don't friction. If you, if you lay head on, 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 non, on, on friction sheet, hair friction and fuzz, silk better. That, that, that's all my brain could do at 1030 at night. <laughs> 
it helps a lot. Like, and it helps like more than like I can even explain. Like I was like, wow, my hair is like not as frizzy as it used to be. Hot damn. Yeah, it's really great. And right, TikTok filters are not a good measurement method, right? Like I have found time and time again, I'm just like, this, this is not it. <laughs> like, this is not fucking it, my friends. And I wish like there was a good filter to show me that because I'm like, it'd be really nice to like see before I committed to growing it out if that ends up happening. I don't know how much like facial hair I'd ever get. No one in my family, not even like, like my brothers don't have fucking facial hair. They just don't. They just don't. They have a lot of curly hair now, but like they just don't have facial hair. And so I'm like, I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see. Maybe the Italian will come out. Maybe the Italian will fucking come out. Have a great time, Zone. I appreciate you so much. And I cannot wait to high five to, to rant about tea, tea buddies with you. <laughs> have a great night. I appreciate you all. And have a great night, Cody. You too. Let me make it. Hold on. Let me shout out both of these lovely fucking humans. If y'all don't know them, you heckin' should because both of them are furry gang lovely. Uh, have a good time, Zen. I appreciate y'all so much, and I hope you have a lovely heckin' night. <laughs> and sort of a tangent, but I just bought my cis guy friend a pastel pink shirt. Yes! And he was so excited, he ran into the bathroom to change it immediately. That is so fucking sweet. Oh my gosh, diddly damn. That makes me so happy, especially because, like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of, um, a lot of, like, men specifically like that are insecure with their masculinity like are very like weird about the whole like pink kind of thing right like a lot of like a lot of like a lot of a lot of men sometimes um sometimes can like can be really rude about like mm, I'm not gonna wear pink that's a, that's a girly color right and so I fucking love seeing men who don't give a shit and are like, yeah, fuck yeah, pink, let's do it. Because like, sometimes that's not what happens. And I'm like, how? Like, it's a color. <laughs> like, it's literally just a color, babe. Wear the shirt. Wear the gosh damn shirt. <laughs> and right, isn't that the cutest goddamn thing? Oh my gosh. And do you or anyone else have recommendations for silk sheets on Amazon? Ooh, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find it because I definitely bought silk sheets off of Amazon. Um, Oh my God, I don't even know how long it is anymore. Let me see if I can find it real quick and drop the link because I really liked them. I think that they did a really good job. Um, ah, okay, that was really easy. That was, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Here we go. Is it gonna, hold on, is it gonna like copy the right thing? I hope so. I hope so, here we go. These are the ones that I bought. Um, and I really like them. I think like they're very nice. Like they're very like silky. They're like, they've lasted a really long time too. I think it's been like, when did I buy these? Hold on. Let me go back. I bought them in 2020. I probably should order more so I can replace them. Hot damn. Cause it's been two fucking years, but like, they're really good. I've really liked them. Um, I've really loved them. Yeah. Highly suggest. <laughs> oh gosh. And right, that's adorable. Right, right, how fucking cute is that? And when I still thought I was a cis guy, I told my lesbian BFF that I had never had a pink shirt and she gave me one for my birthday. It meant so much. What a fucking sweetie. I freaking love that so much. Holy shit. And I love my pink shorts. Fuck yeah, that makes me so happy, right? Like, it's, it's wild to me that people push like such like gender ideas onto colors. Ooh. And like, it's just, it's just so stressful. Cause I'm just like, why, why, why? Like, why do you even need to do that? Like, I just, it just, it just stresses me out. Cause I don't understand, right? Blue boy, pink girl, right? I use yellow because gender, what's that? What a fucking mood, just yellow, just yellow. <laughs> and right, pan flag is all three colors, right? I fucking love that. And right, yeah, yeah. I really, really like those um, sheets a lot. And I love that there's a lot of different colors too. Um, and I don't know, like, I feel like they've done a really good job and I have personally fucking loved them. I've loved them at least. And so if you do end up getting them, I hope that you also really like them. <laughs> and pink's not for me, but Sylvian was his favorite Evie Lucian. Oh, I fucking love Evie. So I've been just slowly encouraging him to wear more pink. Yes. Yes. That makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. I am an Umbreon person myself. I fucking love Umbreon with my entire butthole. And also Leafeon. There's something about Leafeon, Umbreon, and also Vaporeon that just like tickle my brain in the right way. I think they're the cutest freaking things in the entire universe and I love them so much, but I'm really excited. I hope that this like, 
it like this like kickstarts his absolute fucking love for pink. Like I want him to just go like full out pink. Like I want to see him just go full on out pink and just like buy pink things and buy like and paint his nails pink and like just be like I fucking love pink because I feel like that'd be very very cute and I feel like that'd be really really sweet if like you're the one who helped like kickstart that because that's really sweet. Oh my god. And I miss her. She was simply an angel, right? Like that's so fucking kind. Like I love people like that where you're just like yeah I've always kind of wanted that. Like I've always wanted to experience this or I've always like wanted to like have a shirt like this and they're just like I fucking bet (laughs) and then they do it for you like that is really kind like that's really really fucking sweet oh my god yeah Vaporeon gang gang wear yes Uh, right Vaporeon is so fucking cute like I I really want an like I feel like an evolution tattoo would be really fun to like get a whole bunch of different evolutions that I really really like I feel like that'd be a really cute tattoo also or like just like a poster of like like artwork of all the evolutions together evolutions together i feel like that'd be really fucking adorable too like oh my heart my soul i just evie is so cute evie is so cute and i'm so glad that they just keep like shoving more evies in there <laughs> like it makes me so fucking happy inside but spot are you good babe where did that come from did someone where did that come from like who's that was like 10 minutes ago babe are you good? Are you good? <laughs> like, it was like, I'm just gonna fucking shove this in here. Y'all get butts! Y'all get butts! <laughs> just... Hey, wait a minute. I got a good idea. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much for the gift sub to Butt Spot. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> butt Spot is gonna be able to use our emotes. I'm so excited because it hey, usually wait, picks ones idea. with emotes. I'll stick with you. Oh my god. Thank you so much for your heckin' gift sub to, to Zaki also. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Oh my goodness. And it's, it's like uh, pink and teal. It's been his thing now. I fucking love that. What good colors. Next time he comes over, I got to trim his hair. He's been growing it out super long. Oh, ooh, long red hair. I love that. Is it like artificially dyed, like bright red hair? Or is it like, like, uh, like ginger hair, ginger red hair? I hope that was, I don't know. Like is ginger red hair? Is that offensive? I hope not. If it is, I'm going to take that back and learn. I actually don't know. Um, but I love that. That's really, really sweet. I'm very excited. And like the pink and teal is a really good color combination too. So fuck yes. Hell yeah. And thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Hopefully hobby, <laughs> right? You get a sub and you get a sub. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. And I'm actually going to fin, oh, to finally pierce my ears tomorrow. I'm so excited for you. That's going to be so great. And I hope that you get like euphoria out of it because that'll be so much fun. And I don't know. It's really, really fun. Like I've got, um, I've got gauges. I don't know if you can see them because, because the feet, because the feet, but I've got gauges and I've really loved them. Um, I wasn't a big fan of like, like studs and like pierced ears. Cause like my, my mom was always like, Oh, like, let's get this like diamond ear, you know, and like these other things. And I was like, no, nah, I don't like it that much. But like, I've really enjoyed having like gauges because I've just, I don't know. They make me feel more gender personally, you know? And so it's really, really exciting. I cannot heck and wait for you. And I just, oh, I hope that, I hope that you really enjoy it. And I hope that you find some really fucking fun earrings too, because there's a lot of really fantastic earrings and like really fun designs and shit too. Like really fun designs. And I'm so excited for you because it's going to be freaking amazing. And you're going to be able to find so many different like earring types. And like, if you want to go like hoops or heckin like spirals or danglies or like, just like cute little studs, like it's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait for you. And I cannot wait to hear how you like it. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. And you get a sub, right? Right. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for all these gift subs. And our friendship kind of came to an end and it was 100% my fault. Oh, but she always made me uh, be the best I could and made sure to let her know that, oh, when we graduated high school, she's someone I'll never forget. That's really sweet. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm sorry that it came to an end, but I'm glad that, um, I gl- I'm glad that it was a good friendship and that y'all pushed each, other to, pushed each other to be the best that y'all could be because that's always really important. You know, and so I, I'm really glad for you. That's really, that's really good. And no, it's his natural red hair. He's been having fun with it. Yes, he has to tie it, um, tie it to do different places now to make a ponytail because it's very poofy. Oh my gosh, that's really, really cool. I'm so excited for you to cut it then. Like, are you just going to go short or do you want like a shaved side? Like, do you know what y'all are doing yet? Like, do you know what y'all are doing yet? I'm very excited. <laughs> And it was beautiful while it lasted. Hell yeah. Like that's what matters. Like sometimes, I don't know, to me, I, 
Like I very much feel that like some people are meant to be in your life for like a little while and not a long while and not like forever. Like I feel like that there is like different like different different journeys you go on with people. Like you either learn stuff about yourself or something happens or like you just realize that it's better to drift apart. And so I'm really glad. I'm really glad. I'm sending you so much heck and love, damn it. And I'll post a selfie tomorrow in the Discord. Yes, I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait to see it. I, I really hope that it brings you so much joy. Hell yeah. But I should stop getting so personal. Otherwise, I won't be able to hold the tears. What a fucking mood, hot damn. <laughs> what a freaking mood. Oh my gosh. I'll give you, um, oh, you popped in the Discord. Enjoy. Yeah, we've got a lovely Discord. It's not like super active, which I'm glad for because I know that Discord servers can be like ridiculously stressful Tom, sometimes, right? Like I had to leave a bunch of Discords because I just kept getting pings 24-7. All right, thank you so much for texting time. But like I ended up being a whole bunch of Discords for a really long time because I was like so excited about seeing a bunch of people and I was like, damn, I'm going to get into so many heckin' lovely communities. But like it just got real stressful for a while. And so it's been very nice that we're kind of on the subtle side and we say good morning and then post pictures every once in a while and then that's heckin' it. It makes me so happy. I promise I'll give you your uh, your your role. I promise I will heckin' give you a uh, a role when, when I get a chance. I had to lock everything down because people suck. <laughs> and hate raids were happening inside of Discord. So I, uh, I, I privated everything. Ooh, Just trimming a few inches off the ends to keep it nice and healthy. He loves the poofy ponytail. I'm so excited for you. It's going to be great. I hope that he freaking loves the updates, like all the, all the ch updates. Oh, my God, not the updates. I hope he loves all of the hair stuff you do to him. And I cannot heck and wait because that's always really fun. Like no matter if it's like a small trim or like something drastic, getting your hair cut and like even like colored and dyed sometimes, like getting your hair like redone in whatever way always feels so nice. Like it always makes me feel better about myself at least. Like even if it's just a small little trim because I'm just like, it just feels like a lot of like weight has been lifted off. Especially if it's someone with like really poofy or really curly hair, because a lot of the times it's a physical weight that gets lifted off. <laughs> like I can't even tell you. I I used to have real like my hair is still curly, but like my hair used to be down to like my my lower back, my lower back. Like it was it was fucking long, and like whenever I would shower, it would just get like dragged. Like I would just be dragged down because it was a fuck ton of like wet hair that was like really thick and really curly. And the first time, the first time I cut the sides and like I shaved the sides and cut it this short, the first time I did that, it was like 30 fucking pounds had been lifted off my fucking shoulders. Like it made such a heckin' difference. And I was just like, God damn it, why didn't I do this before? Like it was such a heckin' change. And it was so nice. And it felt so heckin' good. And so I'm really excited for y'all. And I hope that you really enjoy it. Damn, it's gonna be so good. Yes, quick question. In the Discord, meant to only have the welcome rolls, command, and venting. Yet for now, yes. I will give you uh, permissions. I will, like, I've gotta, I've gotta assign you a certain permission um, because there were a whole bunch of heckin', like, hate raids that were happening. And so I locked everything down. That way, like, a mod has to give you, like, the, yes, they're a good person, welcome in. Um, because people were, like, spewing really shitty stuff. And, like, I originally had it to where, um, to where you just, like, roll reacted, right? And it was like, hey, if you click this button, you're automatically going to see everything. But I wanted to protect our community a little more, especially because as we're a very openly trans POC, <laughs> a very openly Chinese uh, queer trans person on the interwebs, I figured the safer we can make our space, the better, even though it's a pain, which heckin' sucks, friends, which heckin' sucks, but I guess this is what we deal with as marginalized creators. Oh! But I promise I'll give you that as soon as heckin' possible. <laughs> I promise I'll give you that as soon as possible. Yeah, we're trying really hard. Like, from the get-go, like, I feel like, I feel like from the get-go, it's like ridiculous. Have a great BRB. Yeah, I feel like from the get-go, like, we have had to do, and a lot of marginalized folks and people in marginalized communities have had to do such a lot of extra work God damn, such a lot of extra work to make their spaces safe. Like I know so many pals who like have done so much extra work for adding modding and adding like protections in discords and like locking down like um, adding protections to like stream and stuff to have like um, 
like verification on and things like that and like having like verification in discord email for like chatting and things like that and it's like it, it really sucks that we gotta go through all this shit in order to feel safe on the interwebs but I also appreciate that y'all like are very understanding about that because it's fucking stressful. <laughs> like it's stressful for us to do. And it's also stressful to know that we got to do that shit. And so, yeah. And so, yeah. And I hope that y'all can understand me with this Texan accent. <laughs> like, I know it's not the best. I know it's not the best accent in the entire world. But like, we're trying. And we're trying to perfect it a little bit. Because got some really exciting news <laughs> really exciting news that y'all are gonna hear more about on sunday <laughs> but in like two weeks time i'm gonna be running a one shot on this on on this stream on this twitch channel and i'm very excited because i'm trying to perfect as many accents as i can that way we have a whole bunch of hilarious accents and fun accents for the one shot for different characters and I cannot fucking wait it's gonna be such a blast and I'm so excited to release more information about it like I cannot wait it is gonna be so much fun we've got some like chaotic people joining us and it's just gonna be a blast and so I'm really excited about it <laughs> oh my god all right, let me take another hydration. I thought it was going to give you a cowboy hat. I wasn't expecting the axe. And actually, hold on. We got a cowboy hat, too. Hold on. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's add the two together. Let's add the two together and have more of a southern draw. There we go. Is that, is that tickle your fancy? Oh, not Patrick. Not Patrick. Don't listen to me. <laughs> you got two for one. You got two for one, partner. <laughs> I just, I, I just really want to learn more accents. That way I can like do them for D&D characters and TTRPGs because I'm that nerd. But like, look how cute this is. Like, oh, oh, look at my eyebrows. There's some nice fucking eyebrows. Mm. And also like the chin, like, oh. Like the chin is a lot. And the fact that my fucking hair the fact that my hair just kind of like reaches out <laughs> is really fucking hilarious for me. I love it. I love it. These filters are literally the best goddamn things, my friend. Snap camera. Snap camera is free and it's hilarious and you can also use it in Discord. So like, if you ever want to fuck with your friends, if you do video calls ever. Fucking hilarious. Because the last thing, I promise you, the last thing someone's going to expect is for you to show up to a video Discord call as a fucking egg. It's the last thing that they're going to expect from you, and it's freaking hilarious to see their reactions. I speak from experience. It's so good! Right, right, like Woody, like, not Woody, like, there was another, there was another one. I know, I, I understand, I, there was another one. I feel like I need, like, gray hair, because I know there was one in the first, the first one. Right? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Online, if you just Google, there we go. If you just Google Snap Camera, my friend, that's all you need. Just Google it. It's amazing. Yeah, oh my God, with your next D&D &D session? Fucking hilarious. I played. I played in a Goat Crashers. I played in a Goat Crashers. Um, collector, that's, yes, the collector, MB high, yes, collector, <laughs> sorry, my brain, my brain, hi, I played in a Goat Crashers, um, TTRPG one shot, and guess what I was the entire time, hold on, I got you, friend, I got you, I literally looked like this the entire time as a goat, it's the funniest goddamn thing for D&D, &D. the funniest fucking thing. It's beautiful. It's so good. It's so good. Listen, MB, we got some goofy. We got some goofy. We're going back to Texas, though. We're going back to Texas. <laughs> but it's literally the best thing for D&D &D because you can just fucking throw them off guard. You can throw your friends off guard and you will literally derail the session for 10 minutes at least. At least 10 minutes. MB can attest to that. <laughs> it is so good. Yeah, I think it's the collector, though. I just feel like I need, like, do they have gray hair or white hair? Hold on. Let me Google the collector. The collector. The collect. Not the film. Toy Story. Excuse the fuck out of you, child. I'm in pain. Hold on. 
You think I look like this man? You know, that's valid. <sighs> that's valid. I, I see it. He just needs a hat. He just needs a fucking hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it broke me for so long. It was hilarious and I appreciated it. <laughs> I'm so glad because I was just waiting to whip that fucking thing out. Yes, yeah, the head shape and mustache, right? Like, I can see it. Look at the second chin. Also, look that it's like, nah, the bandana ain't even attached to my body. Like, it's just dangling. It's just dangling. Look at that. My chin is larger than this fucking bandana. Damn. Damn. I'm really glad. I got to do that more often. I feel like I got to put a picture of Brawn up. I wish, like, I wish I could make my own like snap camera and have like the goat fee face with it. Like, I feel like it'd be very funny to be brawn and just have brawn with my eyeballs and my face, like in my mouth, just like blah, 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 blah. You know, I feel like that'd be real fucking good. One of these days I heck and hope. One of these gosh diddly damn days I hope it'll happen. But like, I'll see if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> I'll figure out if I can fucking do that. Oh, hot damn. Oh my god. Right, PNG Tuber with Braun. I feel like that'd be very cute. Like, I feel like that'd be really, really fun. And I would, like, I have been, um, once I have time and spoons after I finish some uh, art commissions, <laughs> I really want to learn how to, like, make a VTuber model. Not because I want one, because I really love the chaos that these filters do, and it's good enough for me, and I don't need a VTuber model. But, like, I feel like it'd be very fun to learn. Like, I feel like it'd be very heckin' fun to learn. And so, like, I feel like doing some of our D&D characters would be, like, would be quite fun. So one of these days, we might, uh, we might look into that a little bit. I know that there's a, um, there's, I know that there's a website that, like, if you put, like, a, uh, like, a closed mouth and then a talking mouth version and, like, hook it up to your Discord, you can just see, like, their mouth, like, talking, like, as if they're talking. And it's really, really cute and really funny. And it's a really fun thing to add. What art do you do? Oh, let me show you let me show you. I, um, I do, I, okay, so my, my, um, my, my panini project is what I'm calling it. My panini project, my, uh, my hobby of the pandemic has been, um, artwork because why not? And it's super, super fun. And so I started learning how to do some artwork. Hold on, let me go to screen share. And so like, I got this lovely website. I do a whole bunch of different things. I've done, um, I can't zoom in anymore. I've done um, like animation screens for Twitch. So like there's a cute little puppet snoozing and like a beach going and like a little hammock doing the thing. I've done uh, other animations for Twitch, a BRB screen with computer screens. Um, one of MB's characters, which is super, super fun. We got, we got some D&D &D character art as well. Um, what else have we done? Like stream starting shit. We got some stream starting shit. A lot of D&D &D characters and emotes, actually. More D&D more &D characters, which I really freaking love. And mostly, mostly Twitch stuff at this point. Twitch stuff and D&D &D stuff, which I've really, really enjoyed. This is one of my favorites. All these D&D all these characters are like my absolute fucking favorites because I think they're very cute. I think they're very cute. A Twitch banner. A cute little Twitch banner, which is super, super fun. More Twitch banners. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that I do. My sweet character, Brawn. MB's character because she's the DM, which has a fucking beautiful flower, hot damn. But yeah, shit like this. Shit like this is what I do. And it's been very, very fun. I've really, really enjoyed it, you know, and it's really helped my brain. And so, yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning. I still have, I still have quite a few commissions I got to get done and I'm going to work on them this week. Here are all my emotes I've done and I'm working on more too. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, and I just appreciate that people like lack my art enough to like want to commission me. And it feels really nice. It feels really nice, even though I take 70 years, but it feels really nice because it's something that I've always kind of wanted to do. Like it's always something like it's something I've always wanted to learn how to do. And like, I just never really had time for it. Right. Like I never really had time or the spoons or the energy. And so like, it's been really, really nice to like work on things whenever I'm like audio editing or like um, or like sitting in a meeting with nothing else to do or watching TV or some shit like that. Like I'm able to just like 
relax and just like subtly work on some art and just vibe while I'm doing other work and it's really nice. That's really heckin' nice, yeah. And thank you, I appreciate you, oh, I appreciate you so much. And I love it, I'm currently working on some stippling artwork. Ooh, and it's super relaxed and hell yeah, that's super, super exciting. It's super exciting. I actually, I don't think I really mind which version. I tend to say like ZZ -er just because like that's the one I am most used to purse, like I'm most used to using, but like, I don't mind if it's Z here or Z here, whichever one. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I love that. You were just like, I'm a fucking pop back in, damn. <laughs> I appreciate you asking, friend. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're trying. We're heckin' trying. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But yeah, we're trying our best, pals. We even have a merch site. Hold on. We even have a merch site because, uh, hold on. I get, I did some cute little, hold on. Where's my, where's my lions? Where's my heckin' lions? Why would I? I did some cute little possum. Look at the possum. The possum is my fucking favorite. I don't know what it is, but that they're like very Coraline-esque. And they got cute little possum. Cute little possum. I love them so much. And little jack-lanterns, which I really love. And there's a cute, hold on. Where's my, um... Where's my thing? Yes, have a good sleep. I appreciate you so much. Hello, welcome back, Jolene. Have a great sleep, folks. All right, hold on. Where's my hecking um? Yeah, right. Not, not again. Where's my, where's, where's the fucking baby? baby? Hold on. Because I made some real cute um, lion hearts. I made some real hecking cute lion hearts. Damn it. Hold on. Here we go. Here we hecking go. I'm going to just hold on. Let me, let me just find them in, in, in here instead. Because it's going to be so much easier to find them. Because they're cute. And, and y'all deserve to see them. Where did I put them? My brain fucking sucks. Oh my God. Everything is fine and I'm doing good shit. Where the fuck did I put it? I just want to show my cute little... I just want to show my sweet... Oh, hold on. Let me show you Ro Yoshi Bravo. I also did this. Yoshi Bravo. There we go. It's one of my favorites, actually. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> also, hold on. These are some of my favorites too. I made um, I made flower bouquets. I made flower bouquets, except I did them in different like pride colors. So we got like gender fay and bisexual and like maverick and like lesbian. So we got a whole bunch of cute little like flower bouquets as well. What else I got? What else I got that I haven't shown yet? Um, and I love them. Panic, panic. Here's my possums up closer. These possums are my favorite because, like, I tried to make them, um, I tried to make them, uh, like, Coraline-inspired because I fucking love the movie Coraline. It's one of my favorite movies, and I want tattoos of Coraline. And so I tried to make, like, a lovely, like, Coraline-inspired possum heart, which I really fucking love. And my favorite, one of my, one of my favorites, because all of them are my favorites, is we got this cute little, um, this cute little lion heart. This cute little lion heart that we did. Except we also got them. In different pride colors, cause hey, wait, fuck yeah. Cause I fuck yeah. Idea. Look how cute. Oh my god, Fierce Shadow. Thank you so much. Okay, hold on. We're gonna read this out because I didn't turn on text to speech because RIP horrible people. Here we go, here we go. Tofi, every time I join your stream, it is chaotic in a completely different way than before, and I love that. Thank you for all the laughs. Thank you for all the chaos and laughs you bring to Twitch, but also for the great friend and person that you are. Well, thank you so much, friend. Oh, my God. I'm so happy that Cosmic Hearts brought us together. Oh. And no you. Oh, no you is the answer to that because you're freaking lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's all I got. <laughs> we had to put the voice in there. Like... I don't have text to speech on just in case, uh, just in case, I think for obvious reasons. So we had to do the robot voice. We had to do the robot voice, my friend. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. That means a lot. I feel like, like, I don't know. I work really hard on our space. I work really hard on this space to curate it to be the fucking ridiculousness that it is. <laughs> and so it means a lot. It means a lot that people really enjoy being here and enjoy being in our community because I like I wasn't sure how I was gonna like streaming whenever I first started like I had no fucking idea if I was gonna like it I was stressed the entire time because I didn't know what I was doing and so it really means a lot and I appreciate you and I feel like I've met so many heckin lovely people 
I've met so many lovely heckin' people, and it's been so heckin' nice, and I appreciate you. <gasps> Let me show you the butt. Hold on, we're gonna show the booty. Cause I don't know if any, I don't know how, if a lot of y'all have seen, uh, have seen the booty that we tried to get past. Because, um, because hold on, the butt, the butt, the butt, the butt, where's my booty, where's my booty? We, like I mentioned earlier, we tried to get a cat booty emote passed, and I don't remember who's seen it, but we're gonna add all of them so y'all can see them here. First and foremost, we had this booty. We, this is, this is the first booty that we tried to pass on Twitch, and obviously, for obvious reasons, they said no to that. Like, I think that's a very obvious, uh, I feel like that's very obvious, you know? Like, I, I understand why they said no to the butthole here. We also, to try to, like, cover up the butthole, we put a little star pasty on it and tried this too. Twitch screamed at us. Twitch did not fucking like this either, which I think also might be pretty valid like <laughs> i feel like this is also pretty valid right right so we tried a couple more we tried to shrink the booty hole right like still detailed but we shrinked the booty hole and the last thing we tried and they still said no to was this glorious thing which i think is really good like it doesn't show a butthole it shows underwear which is fine because like there are so many underwear emotes and it's a bikini like, I think it's a real cute bikini, my friends, and I don't understand why they said no to this bikini booty, but that's fine, I guess, right? Like, I love this! Like, there were so many fun iterations of them, and they just kept telling us no. They just kept telling us no. And so I think the next thing that we try to do is just to remove the butthole altogether. Like, because I've heard from other streamers that the issue that they take is that there's a hole. And so like underwear insinuates that there's a hole. The hole insinuates there's a hole. The bigger hole insinuates there's a giant hole for you to put your, for, for them to show off and clean. And the pasty, I guess, also insinuates that there's a hole there. And that's what they don't like, supposedly. Supposedly. And so what I need to try to do is just to completely remove the hole and just have a flat buttocks. And I'm gonna try that. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna try and put some jean shorts on this booty. We're gonna put some fucking jean shorts on them and try that. Yeah, I tried an X2, my friend. I did, um, I did this one, an asterisk. They fucking hated it too. They said, absolutely not. That's because I, I said that too, because I was like, then X mark doesn't really mean anything, does it? And they were like, mm, nope. So yeah, jean shorts are going to be the next thing that we try. And if, the, if they don't pass with the jean shorts, then I just don't know what to do about it. Like, I don't know what to do about it. We've tried a lot of different things, and I still don't have my follower emotes because of these booties, but I think it's worth it. So like, eventually, I think it's going to happen, right? Jeans was okay for this emote, right? I fucking love that one. It's so fucking funny. And like, look at how voluptuous that booty is. Like... Why? Like, do I have to make the cat that voluptuous? Is that the issue? Is the booty too flat? Which is really rude. Twitch. Twitch. Flat booties exist too, pals. Mm. Mm. But it's fine. We're fine. Everything's peachy keen. We're going to get a booty emote eventually, right? So I think we're going to put jeans. Because I feel like I see a lot of jean butt emotes. And I've definitely seen a couple of cat emotes, but it's also cat emotes without any sort of like indication that there's a hole. So it's just a smooth butthole, just a smooth buttocks without any kind of holes. So I'm going to see if that happens. And what about like cheeky ones? Oh my God, that'd be so cute. That'd be so cute. So like maybe like maybe cheeky ones that like show the crack, not the crack, but like, you know what I mean? That way they're not like full fledged jeans, but like short shorts. We're going to try that. We're going to try that because like the one thing I want, I don't want to happen is for people to like not realize it's a cat butt, you know, like not realize it's a cat butt. And I want that, right? Like, look at that. Like, look at that deer. Like, look at like that deer is showing its entire asshole. What's the difference between this and that? Besides, I've got some underwear on. I'm hurt and bamboozled. And Space Valkyries has a really fucking good one too. Space Valkyries literally has one of my favorite emotes. They've got a fucking cat butt emote that's animated. That's like a galaxy cat just like wiggling their butt. But again, in order for them to get it passed, they had to uh, remove the butthole because they tried to put an X over the butt also, like, like we did here, except like an actual X. And it got rejected because of that. 
but whenever they removed the X, then it worked. So I think it's just the indication of a hole. Which, I don't know, doesn't make sense to me, because obviously there's a hole there. <laughs> there's, there's, well, not obviously. There's probably a hole there. But, like, I don't know. Look at those jean booties. Look at how voluptuous. <laughs> and the heart. And the heart. I fucking love that. That's fucking hilarious. Right, right? Like, Space Valkyrie's cat butt emote just destroys me. It's the funniest gosh diddly damn thing in the entire universe. And I fucking love it. God damn, do I fucking love it. <laughs> It's just so good, but it's fine. It's fine. You can at least get stickers of these, which I'm very excited about. Like I've got stickers of cat butts on my guitar case, you know, and that's fine enough for me. But eventually we will get a cat butt passed. And I gotta like, I still gotta figure out exactly how we're gonna do our emotes once we, um, once we have follower emotes, because I don't really know what to put as, um, as like follower emotes versus, um, like subbed emotes because we're not going to be able to use follower emotes in other people's like channels. I don't know what we're going to do about that, pals. But we're figuring our life out, damn it. We're fucking figuring it out. <laughs> all right, let me close all these buttholes and go back to the game screen. Actually, hold on. That was really fucking cool. Give me a second. We're going to open a bunch up again, and you're going to see what just happened. You're going to see what just happened, because I really enjoyed that, and I think that y'all deserve to see it. It was like a slideshow. It was like a slideshow, because everything shut down one after the other, and because I like opened up like five different pride hearts and stuff, like it looked real cool. Hold on. Give me a second. We're going to open up a whole bunch of flower bouquets. Give me two seconds. We're going to do that again. Because I really, that made my brain really happy. And I feel like it's going to make some of y'all's happy too, actually. Hold on. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost done opening 70 of these things. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's just going to be a cute little slideshow. Ready? Are we fucking ready for this? Like, oh, look how good that was. That, that really tickled my brain. I'm so sorry. Like, that was so fucking satisfying. I'm gonna do that a couple times later tonight. Like, I'm just, it's just gonna happen. I'm just gonna fucking do that a couple times. Like, right? Like, that was so cool. That was so cool. I feel like I need to make, like, a little gif of that now. Like, I feel like that'd be really cute. Like... I feel like that'd be really cute. Like, how fun would <gasps> how fun would that be? In like an animated emote, just having like a bunch of yeah, right. That's exactly we same brain, same brain. Yeah, right. That could be an animated emote. The transition of multiple hearts, <gasps> flowers. Ah! Amazing blunt pans here to slurp up some ketchup packets. <laughs> like a gogurt. How you doing, blunt pans? I hope you're doing well, friend. Mm. <laughs> Like, it'd be so cute. It's gonna happen. It's gonna diddly damn happen. Hot damn, we're gonna gift that shit. We're gonna gift that shit. And how you doing, Blunt Pants? I hope you're doing well. Ooh. <laughs> Don't let... Excuse me. Woody Lightyear? I see it is the thing. Like, the issue is I see that. And I'm in pain. What happened is that Ryan did Texan time. So, like, now we're fucking Woody Lightyear, and I'm in pain. I <laughs> To infinity and beyond. Mm. There's a snake in my boot. Mm. I hate it here. I hate it here. G go. <laughs> yes, that's it. Blunt pants is right. It's not the collector. Yeah, MB said I look like the collector, which is valid, which also is very valid. But I'd much rather be Woody Lightyear. And the collector. At least the characters are somewhat decent. Hot damn. Hot damn. How's your night been, Blunt Pants? How's your night been? Blunt Pants is gonna be in a one shot that I'm running in, in like two weeks' time. And I'm excited because it's gonna be fucking chaotic. It's gonna be chaotic. Mm. <laughs> There's a snake in my infinity and beyond. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate it. Thank you so much. Holy Wait shit. The time oh. 
Oh, you look like you've seen a lot of snakes in your boot. Ooh. They are yeeted. They are, they are, they are yoinked right now. Ooh. <laughs> that was a really good one. I feel like you always get really good time warp scans and it makes me so heckin' happy inside. They're fucking ridiculous. And like, I feel like one of these days, I'm a, I'm a screenshot one of these, uh, one, one of these, um, one of these things and make it into one of our follower emotes because it'd be fucking hilarious. It'd be so freaking funny and I'd be so down for it. <laughs> oh, blunt pans. <gasps> oh, my dearest blunt pans. You absolutely wonderful ogre, are you? Blood pythons. <gasps> Thank you for that gym scare. Captioner, are you okay, babe? Are you okay? Do you do need help? Thank you for the jump scare. That scared the piss out of me. You are now the swamp leader, Blunt Pants. Well, continue to be the swamp leader because you've reigned for like months. Trust in Shrunk. Love Shrunk. Be the best swamp leader that you can be in the four minutes and 20 seconds. Mm. You have. Your love for Shrek should never be ogre. It should never falter. It should live on forever. Thank you for your dedication to the heckin' swamp. And the previous swamp leader was Blunt Pan, so they keep fucking raining. All hail. All hail the fucking swamp leader. For like months at this point. <laughs> It makes me so happy when I get here and I haven't been dethroned. Right? Like you're doing well. We're just going to put your name on a plaque and you're always going to be the swamp leader. I'm going to fucking change your name in the Discord server to just be the fucking swamp leader. That's it. That's it. Like your name's going to be nothing else. You're going to have a special heck and roll called swamp leader at this point. Like, <laughs> that's all that we got. That's all that we fucking got. <laughs> Right? There was a, like one or two days where I came in and it was Moby. Yes, yes. Oh my God. It's so fun. I love it. I just, I think it's so ridiculous and it's so freaking funny and it makes me very happy inside. Like it makes me very happy inside to be that swampy person. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's, let's actually, let me finish this scene in Paper Mario. And then I think we might end because it is like 11 o'clock and I'm hungry and I want to eat before midnight so I can sleep at a decent time, right? It's like a game within the stream, right? Like, that's the hope. That's the fucking hope, my friend. So thank you. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying, right? We're trying to finish the scene. We've been, listen, we have been sitting on this scene for two hours. And the fun thing is, I... Like, I highlight all of my Paper Mario content. Let's do the time oh! warp again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at them. They look like they've seen something shocking. Just, oh, oh. thank you for the time warp. <laughs> We've been on the scene for over two hours at this point. And I highlight all of the Paper Mario content because I've been like up, like I've been like uploading them into a collection, just like the game scenes into a collection under like a Paper Mario collection as episodes. That way, if people are curious and want to like, or like missed a missed an episode or whatever, missed a stream and they like want to know what happened during the Paper Mario thing, since it's like a continuous story, I upload all of them and I highlight them. So, like, if anyone ever goes back to watch this, this uh this stream highlight they're gonna see us ranting and talking about gender shit and t and hrt and like gender stuff and trans stuff for like an hour and a half and i love that and also buttholes they're also gonna see buttholes and i'm very proud of that <laughs> it's gonna be so great and I'm heading to the airport in four hours Ooh, I hope that you have a safe trip wherever you're going whatever you're doing I hope that you have a heckin' safe trip, and I hope that uh, airport security isn't too bad because I know it fucking sucks sometimes. I'm thank you, thank you. Like the time warp is literally the best thing, like literally the best thing ever. And I love that mix it up bot can do it because oh, it just makes life so much funnier, and it's freaking hilarious. It's hilarious. There's so many good clippable time scans. Oh my gosh, and such good middle of the night feral energy. That's what we're here for. That's what we're trying to do. 
we're trying to be, we're trying to have feral energy 24 <laughs> seven. It's just going to be great. Oh God. All right, let's finish the scene. So now I got to do a Texan toad accent. <clears throat> Hi Mario, welcome. That definitely was not a Texan accent for Toad, but like, we're trying our best. May I offer you an organic, all natural, detoxifying spa day latte? That was so many words. Holy shit. I'm heading out of the horrible state of Florida and going back to school up north, so pretty happy. Fuck yes. Well, I hope that you have such a good time, and I hope that, um. I hope that you get, like, not super hot weather. You know? I hope that it's really, really great, and I'm very excited for you. Hell yeah. I'm very excited for you, and I hope that uh, I hope that your school semester is not ridiculously uh, stressful. I hope that it's not too bad and you get to relax, you know? No kidding. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> no kidding. You haven't really lived until you've seen Kamek work his non-literal magic with a broom. He even sweeps the corners. I want him to clean my house. Wonder what his rates are. I don't know, in my brain, Kamek is a, uh, Kamek is an androgynous person who doesn't give a shit what their pronouns are. To me, to me, Kamek is all pronouns. You know, maybe that's just me. I think they're any and all pronouns and don't give a shit what people look at them as. You can tell they're always stuck cleaning Bowser's castle, and his messes must be epic. Also, the fact that they, uh, they just said there, so maybe he's a he-they. Hold on! Maybe Kamek's a they-he in this world. Perhaps. Hi, Coltro. Oh my god, how are you doing, Coltro? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Also, I, I really enjoyed lurking on your stream the other day. I was crying. It was so funny. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're being Buzz... Woody Buzz Lightyear... Woody Lightyear? Woody Lightyear. That's what we said. That was, that's, what, that's what we said. It's fine. How are you doing? God, have a great day, damn it. <laughs> Woody Lightyear. We're doing the best we can. We're doing the best we can. It's gotta be a hard life. But thanks to their hard work, a lot more toads in here are actually taking breaks. I hope these minions stay forever. They use they again. Is Kameka they he? Hold on. I gotta Google this now because I can't be misgendering. Like, if I... If games don't put genders... If, if, if games only have, like, he, him, and she, her pronouns in a game... I tend to fuck with it according to what I think because they didn't think to add that inclusivity. But if they're using both they and he for Kamek, we're going to respect it because they added that representation. Hold on. Kamek pronouns. Kamek pronouns. <gasps> Is Kamek trans? Hold on. I think Kamek's trans. Kamek is an old yet powerful Magikoopa and apparent advisor to Bowser and the arch nemesis of Yoshi. Um, hold on, where is it? Where is it? Fuck me, hold on, where was it? Where was it? I think, I think. Hold on. In Japan, Kamek refers to himself with feminine pronouns and has a feminine style of speaking. Are they gender fluid? Are they gender fluid? Hold on, maybe they're gender fluid. Like. We're gonna go gender fluid. Because like, the thing for Birdo is like, I'm so excited because the thing for Birdo is kind of the same, but like, like Birdo is like you, like Birdo has she, her pronouns throughout the entire thing, right? And Birdo's trans. Birdo is trans. And so like, I think Kamek, right? First Birdo and now fucking Kamek. I'm really excited about this. We're go, we're going gender fluid with he, they, and she pronouns. Especially because Kamek refers to, like, refers to themselves with she, her pronouns, with feminine. Right? Like, I'm really excited because I've always really loved Kamek. Like, I've always fucking loved Kamek. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about this. 
<laughs> right the time where I killed people five times in one mission I was supposed to kill anyone. Yup, I was like crying. I was like, they're doing their diddly damn best, aren't they? <laughs> they're doing their fucking best. <laughs> it's really funny and it makes me so happy. Yeah, we're going gender fluid. Because like, we're, we're going gender fluid, which I'm very excited about. Like, I feel like, um, like, I don't know who made Mario. I don't know who, like, the game devs are technically or whatever, but, like, something I've really appreciated and that I've personally really noticed, but maybe this is something I do as a um, queer person, is, like, my cat, do you hear Tofu? He is so fucking angry screaming outside. But, like, I have noticed so much in this game specifically different LGBTQIA plus color schemes. Ollie has non-binary colors. Like, they have non-binary colors. A lot of the, um, a lot of the battle scenes have had lesbian color schemes and aromantic color schemes. Which, like, I know, like, that it's, like, it's, like, a sunset color, like, lesbian, like, it's, like, a sunset color because it's got a lot of, like, pinks and oranges um, and, like, a lot of colors that mesh really well and look really pretty together. But, like... I want to like I want it so much in my heart that it was like a like of like um a conscious effort to like sprinkle in that little bit of um representation because I know that the toads are a gender. I think they're a gender. Hold on, let me double check that. But like I think the toads are a gender too. I think they're genderless. Um or not a gender, but like I think they're genderless toads. Genderless. Because I think that they're like canonically genderless in this game also, which makes me very happy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nintendo producer Koichi Hayashidi. Um, oh my god, I said that last name so wrong. Hayashida. Hayashida. I'm trying to do this in a Texan accent. It's coming out real badly. Toads are a genderless race. Right? Which makes me so happy. Like, and like the thing is, maybe this is just be me being petty. But like, if people can do this, if people can do this and like add this representation in the Mario games, why the fuck aren't you doing it? In the Pokemon games? That's just me though. That's just me! Ron, like they are genderless. I fucking love this. And Birdo's trans and fucking Kamek is heckin' gender fluid. Oh, and there's just so many color schemes of like different like pride flags in this game. And it's made me so freaking happy. Like whether or not it was like intentional, which like I feel like it was very intentional since they have like at least a little bit of sprinkle of representation here. Like I feel like it was an intentional idea and at least someone's and at least like someone who's working on the game, right? Because otherwise like they could have used different color schemes. And maybe it's just a quink -a -dink. Like I don't think it was. And it makes me very happy, right? Definitely a queer self name and vibe, right? Like I fucking love it. Kamek is like one of my favorite characters along with Monty Mole. I fucking love Monty Mole so much, but like, it just makes me so happy to see that, right? Right, thank you, Mario. Fucking thank you, Mario. It just makes me so happy. Oh, my latte. Oh my God. <gasps> There's a little shy guy that comes in to clean it up. Oh, to me, shy guys are also um, androgynous. I think shy guys are androgynous, and I think Sniffits are non-binary. Thank you, Bowser Minions! You're the MVPs of Shangri Spa! Well, that's just me, though. I also think Luigi's a they-he. <laughs> I think Luigi's a they-he. But maybe that's just me, too. I just, I don't know, it makes me so happy, especially in games that are, um, like... Mario games are so nostalgic to me because I grew up playing them and like we didn't really we don't really have a lot of representation in like in nostalgic kind of games right because a lot of people were shitty but like it's just it's just really nice knowing that like some people actually added that in here because it makes such a difference and yeah shy guys are bottoms and no one could tell me otherwise yep here a hundred percent with that absolutely fucking true absolutely I would fight to the death for that yeah